We've been around to places, found interesting faces, whether young or old, no one left out in the cold. Take a long look around in places of renown, no one would wear a frown. And everybody got on down, sang a song or played along. The people that we meet came right up off the street. With a song and a dance, we gave everyone a chance. Yeah, we gave everyone a chance. We'll see you when you get there, meet you when you get there, we really care and want to share some time with you, we'll meet you and greet you, we don't want to compete, we're like a team, sometimes a dream come true, everybody gets a chance to do what they really want to do, yeah, what they really want to do. How's it going? Nice to see you all. Um, apologies if I can't talk properly today. I've realised I was recording some voiceovers earlier and I bit the side of my tongue and it's very, very sore and I'm struggling to, to get me words out. I'm always struggling to get me words out, but uh, it's, it's hello, oh why, oh why, oh why, at the back, oh why. So yeah, if I'm a bit more quiet than normal, that's the reason why. It's because I'm very, very sore. Um, but it's very good to see you all. It's been a while. It's been a, it's been a cup of coffee, right? Well, two weeks. Unless you tuned in on Sunday night for AEW reactions. But if you're just tuning in for the British TV stuff, good to be back. It's been a fortnight. Well, I'm so horny for this, says Retro Royalty 99 Me too. That's why the camera's framed up here. And even that's a problem because it's so long. It's so, it's, it's bulbous. Bulbous? You have a bulbous knob? Bulbous is like a mushroom, isn't it? Like, it's wider rather than, it's very small, very smelly as well. Uh, but it's very good to see you all. It's so good to be here. Um, I've been looking forward to this. I've got another hell of a lineup for you uh, tonight with some proper fucking cretins as well. Uh, well, not the, yeah, no, I've got some proper fucking cretins. I've got Noel Edmonds and Jim Davidson on the show tonight. Like they're here, like they're fucking here. I've got those two. I've got Big Break. I've got Celebrity. Are you smarter than a 10 year old? Very dodgy looking man outside there's somebody wandering around peeking through windows with a hoodie on let's see what's going on here one second we might be about to witness a crime what's he doing you little cunt uh, yeah, hey, how's it going? Uh, and also on tonight's show, we've got uh, Stars in the Rise with Matthew Kelly and uh, the return because a lot of people did like it 
It's not Andrew. It's not Andrew. He's, he's way too good looking. Uh, and we got the return, even though some people don't like it. But you're always going to get that with, with this sort of stuff. God, I really am struggling to talk here, aren't I? Can you hear that? Does it sound? Um, and we got the return of Take Me Out with, uh, with young Paddy McGuinness. Not so young anymore, actually, is he? He's got to be in his 40s. Uh, so, yeah, a hell of a range of shows tonight. I've been really looking forward to, to doing this all day. Um, I had fun doing the AEW um, the pay-per-view reactions on Sunday. And I thought, oh, it's going to be one of those things because I was so fucked after it. And did the AEW reactions and then went to bed for like two hours maybe. Or I say bed, I went here, I had a nap on the sofa. And then got up and did news and then cut graded as well as news. Um, and I was like, oh, I've fucked myself here. I've definitely fucked myself. Thank you for all the bloody bits and everything. I see those flooding in as well. Thank you so much. Cheers for the hype train. We're on a level five hype train already. Thank you. Um, but I'm feeling surprisingly fresh, despite the fact that I didn't get much sleep yesterday either. I've had a few strong coffees. I'm good to go. Uh, and yeah, sorry if, if I struggle to, to string a sentence together uh, today. It's because I'm in immense pain. Um, no, my mouth is just a bit sore. I've really chomped down on it. It's not interesting, is it? I wish I was coming back as well with like some nice Isle of Wight stories or something like that. But literally, I just got cunted every night. Um, and nothing, it was just, it was very nice to catch up with, with friends um, and be in pubs again. And I've had two carveries now as well. Things are slowly returning to normal. I, I'm, you know what? I'm fucking fed up of people saying that as well. Everything that I watch, people just go, and every, every like Uber driver, every conversation that I have with somebody I've not seen for a while, it always just goes, yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Things are slowly returning to normal. Light at the end of the tunnel and all that. Been saying it for ages, but it is the truth, isn't it? Is that right? GNW just said zero deaths in the UK today. Big day. That's awesome. That is awesome. I rescheduled my um, my COVID jab as well. My COVID jab, my uh, my my vaccine, um, because uh, I, I was going to have to travel 15 miles for it, and it was going to be this Friday. And then I looked on the website, and by chance, there's a vaccination centre like 0.3 miles away from my house. And so I can just wander down the road and get it. So I pushed it back to, to next week because I have to cancel my other booking. But I'm going to get it uh, mid next week. Very, very excited. Uh, so I'm getting jabbed on Wednesday. And then I think it's like the 25th of August or something like that. Uh, I'm getting it done. So yeah, awesome. Awesome new. Really looking forward to it. It's amazing how many of my mates are already... Uh, had their first dose and yeah my, my parents and my grandparents all of all of whom I, I i saw over the last week uh they're all they're all jabbed up and everything two jabs two jabs and i was doing the lateral flow test and i'm fucking shit at them right they are so i i can't getting stuff down my throat Ooh, uh, right i can't that first bit and then you've got to stick up your nose and like like you're trying to fucking light a fire with it twist it 10 times it's really, it does not feel good, but you, you gotta do it right. So I did it every every day just to make sure, just to be especially safe. Unfortunately, well, yeah, I, I didn't get it. So anyway, I'm gonna read some of your very nice, uh, your, your generous donation. Thank you so much for completing level five on the hype train. That's very, very kind of you. Goodness me, there's fucking loads here. I know I say this every time, but you are very, very generous people. Matt Too Fat, 22 minutes ago, resubbing 11 months. Yo bitches, yo bitch. Thank you very much, mate. Merry Midnight. Hello, leader. Missed your silly face. What do you mean, silly? It's a very nice face. It's not very nice. Well, I've missed you too, in a way. Uh, show Mash, Jackie, Keys, and Small and Smelly Knob to make up for lost time. I've only been gone for two weeks. What are you talking about? I missed you guys too. Uh, please and thank you. Hashtag hot cunt summer. Fucking hell. If I had one, it would have been. I, I had to walk into town to post some stuff today. Sweaty ass, right? <laughs> it's horrible. That is horrible. It was very, very hot today. It was very, very hot. I love it. I really do love it. I'm going to hopefully this uh, this weekend sit out in the garden, uh, maybe have a little barbecue or something like that. Sorry for talking about my sweaty ass. That's grim, isn't it? Hey, it's real. That's what you watch this for. Real life, real sweaty arseholes. Stephen Skodes, thank you so much for the bit, Stephen. Hi, Adam, how are you? I'm grand, I'm, I'm in good spirits today. So lovely seeing you. I'm not at work until later today, uh, so I can finally watch your cunt stream. I'm super excited to be able to watch today. Your double or nothing stream was so much fun. Hope you and the chat are doing well today. Big love to you all. Get the cat excited. What a lovely man. Thank you very much. It's a lovely, lovely message, and I'm really glad that you can be here live for it Stephen uh, I hope you like Jim Davidson we all do what a guy uh, yeah no it's really good to see you Stephen uh, Austin 
13 months of this. Shambles. I agree. I don't know why you're still fucking tuning in. Thank you very much for 13 months, Austin. Uh, Dark Blue 26. Hey, Adam. Since the Thunderdome will be ending soon, will you try to get on the screen again? I feel like I've done every done everything there is to do. No, I feel like I've done it, right? What can I? What else can I do? Unless it's getting my fucking bollocks out. Um, which would is against the law, I assume. Is it certainly against the terms of service? I'm not going to get my dick out on a WWE show. Saving that for impact. No, I, no, I'm not, I don't think I'll do it again. I don't. I, I won't be able to find the time. I've realised over the last like 12 months, I've, I've made so many empty promises. It's like, hey, bingo stream soon, right? We're in fucking June now. I can't even remember if I've if I've done one this year a bingo stream I don't think I have so I and, and I've, I've I've fallen behind on the red dead streams and I will get back to them I really will uh, just not enough hours in the day so no I'm not going to do the Thunderdome again uh, also can we see Jackie or show mash what have I got to hand no I don't think so yeah okay yeah, I can do Jackie there you go I think I'm going to retire Jackie soon there he is uh yeah I, I think he I think it's Run its course, the Jackie stuff. I think I need to find a new one or something. Uh, no, no disrespect to the Chan. Um, and I get a load of shit for it because you guys clearly still like it. But I, I think I think the Chan is going to be permanently banned soon. Uh, Himmelfarb, thank you very much for resubbing. Seven months. Thank you, good sir or ma'am. Uh, Vile, I fucking told you Cody would win. I fucking told you, Adam. Angry face. Well, yeah, you were, of course. I thought they were going to do something different. Imagine the heat. Even though Gogo, -Go, I don't want to get into it. Bollocks, isn't it? Thank you very much for eight months. Wrestling Fan 87, lovely to see you, my friend. Uh, thank you very much for 14 months. The cunt is back. Can we please have the mole soon on CNX Tuesday? As we can all guess for a few weeks who is the mole on one of the best shows Channel 5 ever made in its early days. I don't ever made ever. I remember watching it when it first came out, mate. It was, it was great. And I don't remember who the mole is, but it was fascinating TV. It was an excellent show. And they, did they do more than one season? I can't even remember. Um, I can't remember, but yeah, no, maybe, maybe, that's, that's, that's not a bad shout. As long as people promise not to, to ruin it. You know what? People were really fucking good about doing, uh, oh, War Joe. Raven. Sorry, the show could have been called, should have been called War Joe. Uh, they, nobody, nobody checked the results of that. As far as I know, at least I didn't see it in the chat or anything. So people were really cool about it. Two series, apparently. Thank you very much, Iron Robot Man and Wrestling Fan 87. Uh, and Spud Gun. Sorry, I missed you there, Spud Gun. Uh, thank you very much. Yeah, 14 months. Cheers, buddy. Uh, Board Stiff. Good to have you back. Hope you had a lovely time with the fam. I did. Thank you for the nice message there. Cheers. Yeah, 14 months. Cheers. Much appreciated. Oscar X Ray. Thank you for the bits. Adam Pacitti. With your face like a haunted orphanage. With your hands like ten eels feeding on the corpse of a crab. I, is this like... It, it, that sounds like a very fucking mighty boosh thing. What is that? What's that from? I missed you last week, but I'm glad you had a bra time back on the island. Welcome back. Have you had a chance to catch Bo Burnham's new Netflix special yet? It's a treasure. Yeah, I've, I've seen all the praise for it. I haven't had a chance to watch it. I might actually watch it when I get into tonight because I love Bo Burnham I think he's I think he's a fucking genius imagine being that talented and uh, he's been he's been so funny since I used to watch his stuff like when it was on YouTube it's probably like 12 or 13 years old for everything from like I'm Bo Yo I, I watched all of the um the early skits that he did he's just a tremendously funny and like uh, so much of his stuff is really poignant as well he's just he's excellent he's excellent in what he does uh, so yeah i probably will check out um tonight thank you very much oscar booker jataz thank you very much for the resub 15 months much appreciated Mel Gibb bunny thank you very much for three months gy goliath thank you goliath goliath thank you very much for gifting two subs congratulations to captain buzz and to vinnie hop chungo baggins thank you very much for resubbing for six months chump safari thank you for 10 months hey adam that instagram photo of you and your family together made me so happy seeing things starting to get back to normal i've just slagged off people who said that no it's true though and thank you yeah oh, fucking hell got to the end of the pier mum crying her eyes out and that I, ah, it's hard work you, nobody wants to see their parents cry do they dad was cool as a cucumber couldn't give a shite but no it was uh, it was it was brilliant i, I look back that, i think that's one of my favorite photos ever genuinely i love that photo so much so i'm gonna i'm gonna get it printed off and stick it on my wall as well um i'm glad that you uh, you enjoyed it as well iron robot man thank you for the bits hey leader this week has been the first time that i felt good about myself all year and i'm starting to feel myself again that's awesome news mate uh, thank you for all the streams helping me through this by watching you cheat against 10 year olds oh, fuck off 
Hope you start to feel shit again. Love you, cunt. Love you too. Love you too. I don't, I don't start to feel shit again. It's very good to hear. Steven Skodes with another 500 bits. Thank you so much. Uh, have some more bits, you lovely and handsome bastard. I'm so very excited to watch this stream because I'm normally at work during them. It's always lovely to see you, Adam, you wonderful friend. Thank you so much. And a virtual hug, it says there at the end. I think that's an emoji. Thank you very, very much, Steven. I'm really glad you're here, mate. Michaels, thank you very much for the 500 bits. Good evening, Adam. Lovely to see you. I'm so happy you enjoyed your time with the family and hope you're well, mate. I'm stressing out on you uni assignments but also for, uh, got my second vaccine shot uh, this past Friday so it could be worse eh? exactly exactly uh, hope you have a lovely evening welcome back you filthy piece of ass thank you Michael you filthy piece of ass are very kind and yeah don't don't stress yourself out it doesn't help does it worrying doesn't help anything so you'll be you'll be grand and congratulations on the second shot as well and the mystic newt I've always been saying animalistic newt have I just been reading that wrong the whole time? Animistic news. What does animistic mean? Anyway, who's that cunting out the sky? It's horse murderer Adam Pacitti. How was the trip to the Isle of Wight? Buy any racist dolls? No, I've got too many. I've got too many racist dolls. They're cluttering up the house already. No, I didn't. Thank you very much for nine months. Matt Too Fat, thank you very much for the five gifted subs. That's really kind of you. Thank you. Uh, congratulations to Y Moron, to Dan in Danger. Uh, to AJ Rowe, to Super Benji Zero, give him a subscribe. Super Benji, nice to see you, Benji. And to Precious Jeff. Uh, congratulations, all you guys. Real Byronite, thank you very much for the resub. Nine months, thank you, sir. CEFW97, or White Leader. Hope the hangover is gone at this stage. I, it's just about, fuck me. Two day hangover. I felt like fucking shit. <laughs> I saw this comment on the news video, because. It wasn't like my heart wasn't in it. I just, ah, oh, fucking hell. No, my heart wasn't in it, right? And I tried to be positive, but somebody sarcastically commented saying, goodness me, the energy that Adam brings in this video. <laughs> That's the, yeah, I was shit. I was shit. Hey, they can't all be winners, right? Wonderful to see you back after some well-deserved time off. What were your overall thoughts on AEW Double or Nothing? Yeah, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a great show. It, 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 it dipped a little bit in the middle, but I mean, I, I think it was fun. Personally, Stadium Stampede 2 didn't do that much for me. I, I, I thought it was good. I enjoyed Sammy getting the rub, and I, I thought Sean Spears, Spears rather was really good. Um, but... I don't know, I'm, I think I'm tired of these pre-recorded matches now. I think I've seen enough that I just want to get back to, to normal wrestling. Especially when there's a live crowd there. You think they want to make... They, they'd really want to take advantage of it. And I know they came back at the, at the end, but... Hey, and everybody sang Fozzy. It was nice. It was fine. It just... It, it was... It wasn't... It wasn't even that bad. I'm not. I'm not slagging it off. I'm really not. I'm. I'm just. I just wanted to see some wrestling. I think the Triple Threat should have made a minute. Whatever. Whatever. Alex, take over. Hello, Adam. Nice to see you again. Lovely to see you, Alex. Thank you very much for your donation. Oliver B. Webb. Evening, Treaker. Welcome back. Glad to see your lovely smug Tory face on a Tuesday once more. Hope you've recovered from your hangover from Double or Nothing, and more importantly, that you've pulled yourself together from the whole Andrew incident. Fuck the Yorkshire cunt. Enjoy the stream. Well, I'll try, but you've brought Andrew up now, and now he's going to be playing on my mind is he here he's not here thank the lord he's he's off being unemployed which is great uh Declan Malloy you're a braver man than I Adam I'd have sacked this off on the account of it being hotter than the sun hey I, I don't deal with the heat that well anyway and yeah I would like to be out in the sun but I'd rather I'd rather be watching Jim Davidson with how many? 642 of you cunts. Currently bollock naked, enjoying a fruit pastel lolly, living the life. Also, fuck Andrew. I'm really behind on these donations. I can still, 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 see they're still coming in. So stick with me. We'll get to it in a bit. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm probably another 10 minutes though. So go and make yourself a coffee if you don't want to listen to me ramble. Um, Louis23, good afternoon, Adam. Hope all has been okay. I've been back at work, so I've missed the last few streams. Good to be back. Trim looks good. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you. I hope you're enjoying being back at work. Thank you very much for four months. Nick Jordan, hi, Adam. Welcome back. Hope mum, dad, and the family are well. Been looking forward to today. Me too. Thank you very much for 14 months, Nick. Cheers, buddy. Uh, Lee the Evil Chocobo, there he is. Glad our glorious leader is back. Hope your trip to see your folks went well. Much love. Yeah, it was. Oh, I, I don't want to just blab on about it the whole time, but it really was. I, I opened this, and I haven't even taken a sip. Mmm. Oh, it's fucking lovely, that. Passion fruit. You know the way you eat a bit of passion fruit? And, like, all of your... What's that called? Spit glands? Saliva glands. Saliva glands. They all activate. Very refreshing fruit. There's probably no, no fucking passion fruit in there. Of course, it's just artificial flavouring. It's a delicious drink. 
I'm not sponsored by Rubicon Sparkling Passion made with real juice. It's just a delicious drink. What the fuck am I on about? Cheers, Lee. Patrick, a white prick. All right, Patrick, nice to see you as always, you cretin. Uh, Urban Munch, if you ask me, Jim Davidson didn't go far enough. Adam Joseph Pacitti. It's always weird when people know my middle name. It is odd. I know I, I comment on my Facebook account and all that sort of stuff all the time. Uh, and I didn't, I didn't say that. I didn't say that because Jim Davidson is awful. Um, and we're going to watch him soon. So, Joel the Gay Noodle, thank you for the bits. What up, cunt? Missed, uh, missed you bet you mi What? That doesn't, that's not a sentence, mate. Missed you bet you missed me more, though. Missed you bet you missed me more, though. It is a sentence I just can't read. Uh, off sick with leg pain and on some new painkillers, so hopefully this will be a good laugh. Better get back to insulting you now. You make a shit jam sandwich. I'm not a big jam sandwich fan, to be honest, so I probably don't. No, it's just butter and jam. I could do a jam sandwich. Peanut, PB and J, delicious. Delicious. Joel, lovely to see you. Thank you very much for your support. A real affinity. Thank you very much for the resub. If you want a resub or sub, you can do it for free. Amazon Prime. Click the button. It'll talk you through it. You know how it works. Rob K, did you go to Black Gang? No, I didn't go to Black Gang Chine. Um, I wish I had had time to go to Black Gang Chine um, because it's magnificent, obviously. I love the pet shop and they've got a new attraction or an addition to an existing attraction if you want to be more specific they've got like live action role play cowboy people that are fucking jumping all like they get shot shit blows up and they're diving it's like disneyland there now um but on the isle of wight and it's all falling into the sea no i didn't go to black gang i wish i had uh bazzy leader 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 great to have you and the cunts back together great to be here again thank you very much cheers for seven months uh tatonka is my boy hello leader just got back from a long day at work and i'll be watching uh, for a bit while i eat before i gotta start studying for an exam tomorrow hey i'm only gonna be going three hours fuck the exam that's ages away can't watch fucking Celebrity, are you smarter than a 10 year old with me? What are you talking about? Just want to say thanks for all your streams in the past year. Thank you for watching them. Thank you. It means it means a, a lot to me. I know I say it all the time, but it really does. Thank you very much. Cheers for 13 months. Jazzy Bongo, why is there no drugs in the Pokemon universe? Because the Paris ate them all. Fucking shit, that. You, you, it's good. It's good because you, you've, you've adjusted, you've altered an existing joke about the jungle to make it about Pokemon, and that's very clever. Uh, no Andrew emojis, please, Morgan. Uh, we'll have to get those deleted. Chungo Baggins, guess who's back? Back again. Leaders back for some cunt. Yep, that's the lyrics. Uh, delighted to have you back, Adam. Hope you feel refreshed after a lovely breakdown on the island seeing you folks. You are a wonder. P.S. Sorry about your bit in tongue. Would you like me to kiss it better? I'll pass on that for now. Thank you. But it does, right, it, it does taste delicious because of Rubicon sparkling passion made with real fruit juice. Spud MC99. Hey, Adam. Last month I said my mum was in hospice and not doing so great she was able to come home for the weekend and i'm so happy oh, i hope you've enjoyed your time with her mate and i hope she's doing all right uh, also i found out i passed my uni course get the cat excited good lad congratulations uh, that's that's awesome and yeah so i love to your mum um cheers for four months as well van wilder thank you very much for six months adam stinks of trout pass it on yeah sure i have done in the past arkham so rumor has a certain andrew dingle was suspended for yorkshire puddings it's not a rumor i can confirm that that, that is that's a, an accurate that's a fact that is a fact good riddance to bad rubbish gar munro what's that andrew bite your tongue and he hurt you yes what a cunt. Is this the part where we ask if Adam has checked the questions to feel big and clever a bunch of... Oh, fuck off. Dusk Squeak Heart. Cheers, Gar, by the way. Dusk Squeak Heart, thank you very much for the resub. Two months. Welcome back, leader. Thank you for lowering the tone of every Tuesday evening. That's what I'm here for. Much love to all the lads. Yeah, lads. Thank you very much. Tom, thank you very much for the resub. Uh, Jam Blue Jam, thank you so much for the five gifted subs. That's really kind of you. Thank you. Congratulations to Master Ath, to Prime Time Henry Harris, to Barders to tech support Bob and to Red Cab 17 That's like a fucking shit indie wrestler name. Sorry if you're an indie wrestler, but Primetime Henry Harris is the most indie wrestler name I've ever heard. It's sorry if you are. Sorry if you are a wrestler. If it's a great name, great name. Snake Twisted, when are we watching Come Dine With Me on this stream? We're not, we wouldn't get away with that. I don't think it's, it's too, it's, it's new uh, and it's on 4OD, like the, uh, the, Take Me Out worries me a little bit, but I found it quite an old one. It's been fucked with, so I'll probably get away. Well, we got away with it before, but yeah. No come down with me, I'm afraid. Kieran Alder, thank you very much for the resub. Nine months. 
Michaels, please give us Jackie Utori. I've done it. You've had your fill. You've had your fill. Steven Skodes, there will always be fucking loads of bits every week, Adam. Get used to it. But seriously, lovely seeing you. I like sweary Steven. I like it because you're, you're, you're normally quite sort of mild mannered, just a very nice, uh, nice man. And then Tuesdays come around, and it's all like, yeah, fucking cunts, I'm gonna smash some fucking pussy. He doesn't say that. <laughs> Lads, Stephen, thank you. Melon, thank you very much for the resub. 15 months, cheers. Vile, 12 inch Pachiti, around. Uh, Stephen White, resubbing, 12 months, thank you very much. A whole bloody year. Cheers to you and the gang for keeping my spirits up this past year. Very much appreciate it. Hope you enjoy your time back home. Thank you very much, Stephen. Cheers for being with us for the past year. Mr. TJD with a troll comment saying, free Andrew, hashtag free Andrew. That's a, that's a troll comment. Uh, Stephen Scode, sometimes this, so I'm gonna add some swearing to this, Stephen, because it looks, it looks quite, yeah, there's no swearing in it. Sometimes this fucking month, it'll be three cunting years since I pledged to you and all of Cuntaholic on Patreon. What a wonderful three bastard years it's been, and I wouldn't have it any other motherfucking way. Cheers to many more cunt years. Thanks, Stephen. Come to you too. Himmel Farb, thank you very much uh, for gifting. Oh, bloody hell, five gifted subs. Thank you so much. Cheers. Congratulations to Cody the Hermit, to Jack in Rainbows, to Lil Zaru, to Ignorant Joker, and to Lanky Slothman. Thank you very, very much, my friend. Pachiti Mania with a resub, seven months. Thank you, sir. I know I've asked about 10 times already, but is there any chance of unbeatable Banzuki? Uh, yeah, it's on the list, mate, but about 50 other fucking things are. I will get to it. I'm not going anywhere, right? So we will get to it. We will get to it. Thank you for saying Seven months. Uh, Gooding Zero, nice to see you, Pachiti. Glad you had a good time on the island. Culter Happy. What's Culter Happy? Oh, it's an emoji, isn't it? Thank you very much, mate. Cheers. Much appreciated. Thanks for six months. Uh, Wembley TTV, how's how's life living in Wales today? Beautiful, beautiful Wales. Yeah, it's been great. Me and me and Wales superstar pack have been down Weatherspoons today, just enjoying some what, what's Welsh? Uh, Welsh cakes. Some Welsh cakes and difficult to pronounce words what else is what else what, is there a welsh drink mead mead is what's what's welsh i don't even know the national flower dragons enjoying some dragons oh sheep we even fucking no that's i'm not gonna say that it's horrible stop saying i saw you just say it there as well dusk leek fucking leek leek rare bit weird spelling whales ales that'll do that'll do uh, Nick Gage, thank you very much for the bits. Off to see my parents tomorrow for the first time in a while. Lucky for me, I get to squeeze a cunt in before I see them. More early 90s TV racism from Tori Davidson tonight as well. Thumbs up. Enjoy your time with your parents. Uh, Donna, thank you very much for 15 months. Not sure where that's gone. Hope you're doing good. Big love. Big love to you as well, Donna. Thank you very, very much. Bootlegger. Bootlegger ale. Is that Welsh? I've tried bootlegger. It's a very nice ale. Oh, am I mic'd up all right? Can you still hear me? I might put this on the jacket. Hold your horses, hold your horses. I'm still 12 minutes behind on the donations. You guys are being very, very kind. There we go, that should be a bit better. Uh, test one, two. Double A, speaking of retiring, Jackie Chan, as of today, I'm retiring the James Dixon's Richard joke. Partly because I've got a part-time job, which is good, but more mainly, because the real James Dixon follows me on Twitter, is that right? He's a lovely guy, I like James. Uh, well, on the bright side, I don't have to ask you how big it is. I think it would be fucking massive. I think it'd be absolutely gargantuan in size. And the pubic hair would have one of the, it would be, it would be tied up with little beads in it for special occasions. Um, big love to you and to James Dixon. Abel Magwitch, thank you very much for the bits. I don't know what you put there because it just says Al Belmer for, but I don't get, I don't get to see them. It just, thanks for the bits though. A casual evening, Adam. Great to have you back, mate. Thank you very much, Adam. Let's get down to the important stuff. How are Lynn and Big Nige Pack doing? Yeah, they're, re they're really grand. They're re they really are like, they they're looking great. And it was, they're all, they're, they're just the best. They're, I'm so fucking lucky. I'm so lucky. Um, and I love spending time with them. The week just flew by. I was there for seven full days. That's how long a week is. <laughs> and uh, fucking... Um, yeah, it was just like, you know, when, you, you, when you're in the office, time can drag. And not too much, because fortunately, like, it's quite a fun job for the most part. But when I was there, it was just like, went to sleep on the Sunday night or the Saturday night and woke up and it's like, it's, it's, it's gone. It's gone. And yeah, it was... I miss them. I miss them already. 
Uh, Arkham, glad you had fun going home. Anyways, welcome back. Now you can reclaim your Tory, the t Tory title back from Jack the Jobber. What's Jack been doing? He's been snatching milk. What's he been doing? Uh, Bella Nation, welcome back, leader. Glad you had a good time back home. Is Mr. Happy happy that you're back? Or is Mr. Happy you're back? Oh, and happy birthday. Thank you for the happy birthday. Yeah, he's, uh, yeah, he was. He was very excited to see me. He was very excited to see me. Um, good to see him as well. Smelly little fucker. He's been eating spiders, apparently. Tread322, welcome back, Adam. Missed you and your cunty ways. How about, uh, there he is for the return. Uh, but apparently you missed it. I'll do another Jackie while I have a sip of delicious Rubicon Sparkling Passion made with real fruit juice. Hi, guys. There hey, it's Jackie is. Chan. Jackie. I lost the thing, there you go. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? Take the cunt intro off. I've remembered for the first time ever, when I switch between scenes now, it won't start playing the thing again. I've actually fucking remembered. Incredible. Uh, JK Jigs, thank you very much for three months. Love you, Shriekle. Love you too. Not very good at gaming. Hi, Adam. Glad to have you back. And really pleased you had a brill time with your folks. Had a bloody long rubbish day at work, so very much looking forward to some hot, sweaty cunt. Here I am. Thanks for watching. Sorry you've had a shit day, mate, as well. Hope tomorrow is better. Matt Hux, thank you for the resub. Eight months there. Gar Monroe, who needs to go outside in the sun and fresh air when you've just spent eight, oh, sorry, nine hours in your sun trap house, sat at a PC doing spreadsheets? Also, sorry I called you a cheat. You're not a cheat, but you are our leader. And as proof, you came first in a poll I ran to see who Jen and Queen Street Posse should have as a guest being Ross, Denise, and Adrian English in that order. Proof that the people want the band back together. Well, we'll do stuff for sure with Jen. We're, like, we're getting very, very close, obviously, to being able to get Jen back down. So stay tuned. She will be back on your screens very, very soon. Uh, Wolvie, thank you very much for the seven months. Leader, leader, leader. Thank you very much. Just stead. All white, Tory. All white. Thank you for nine months. The final J. Hi, Adam. Excited for today's stream. I've had a rough week last week after my cat died. Oh, fucking hell, mate. I'm sorry. Uh, very unexpectedly, and I really missed the stream last week. Happy about Glad you had a lovely time with your fam. I'm really sorry for your loss, mate. That's really, that's really shit. Um, sending my love and thank you very much for the support. Hey, Kajua Adam, why did you throw Yorkshire puds at the office while wearing a bald cap? What? How? That is... Right. You're getting timed out for that because that is not on. That is... Which one's, which one's written and which one's... I think sl slander is spoken. That's, that's libel, that. You've just libeled yourself. I can't even find you. Where are you, little shit? Say something, because you're getting timed out. Where are you? I wouldn't do that, because that's fucking, that's a horrible thing to do. I'm not, that's, where are you? Say something, and you're getting timed out. Come on. Come on, you little shit. Where are you? If you don't speak, oh no, you know what? I can fucking do it this way. I can do it this way. Forward slash timeout, duration, uh, 300, I don't know, 300 years, hopefully. Uh, a ca -jua two. The use you're trying to time out doesn't exist. Well, you got away with it this time, you little... Oh, there you are. Piss flaps. Thank you, and you... I've got your first ever time out. It won't let me do it. Am I not signed in? Oh, you've got away with it. You've got away with it, because I'm not signed in on the account. You are a lucky, lucky boy. Shitter. John O'Flan, a few show suggestions for you. Youth hustling with Chris Eubank, arm wrestling with Chaz and Dave, and inner city sumo. All bang it. Yeah, you can do it in a pub car park. Good to have you back. I uh, hope you enjoyed seeing the family. Thank you very much. John Bengman Cobra Z27. Thank you very much for the two, no, three months of subbing. Much appreciated. Our cam. So, word on the street is that Angle, Andrew Dingle stunned you for three hours straight before you could do the news today. Well, that's... I didn't do the news today. What are you talking about? Andrew's gone. Let's stop talking about that sorry sack of shit. Merry Midnight. Andrew was wearing that jacket last Monday. To, oh, you're joking. <laughs> Smells of hand sanitizer and shame. Uh, nonsensical rambling. Well, Shad here. We shag sheep. It's all right. Also got an apprenticeship job offer today. Looking forward to a good cunting today to celebrate. Congratulations, you big sheep shagging fuck. Stephen Skodes, I blame Adam for the swearing. Not a good influence. Thanks for the three years, Adam. No problem, cunt flaps. Cheers, Stephen. Wolfus Maximus, howdy, leader. Good to see you back. Today, my daughter is seven weeks old and is happily sleeping while I watch your awesome stream. Oh, that's, well, that's wonderful. Wake her up so she can enjoy Jim Davidson too. Cheers for six months. Kenny, evening cunt. 
I hope you had a lovely week, but why are we watching Are You Smarter Than a Ten-Year-Old? We already know the answer to that one. Well, today's the day that I'm gonna prove that I am indeed smarter than a ten-year-old, and I'll be better than whatever celebrities are on the show tonight. I know one of them because she was in the thumbnail. It's fucking off um, Love Actually. Martine McCutcheon, McCutcheon? McCutcheon, I think it is. Fucked um, Hugh Grant in the film. Fucked him, they were in love. It was beautiful, lovely fit. It's a really, I love that film. She plays the disgusting working class one, if you cast your minds back. And she also sang songs. And I think she was in, I think she was in, um, she was in a soap as well. Was she in EastEnders or something like that? Anyone? Anyone? Don't know. Chan Chan Revolution, want me naming lights? <laughs> Chan Chan, thank you very much. Much appreciated. Thank you very much to one and all. I hope I caught everyone there. I'm, I'm 30 minutes in. We've not watched anything. You're used to that by now. Um, let's, let's, oh, bless you. Look at that. Six gifted subs as well from Chan Chan. Let's get the name in lights. Don't know how to do that. Chan Chan. Thank you. Cheers. Congratulations to Pample Moose, to Matty ID, to Puzzle Dan, to YGB, to Matty Boot Witches, and to Confusion of Dah... What the fuck does that say? Not a clue. The name's about to come up here. If anybody can fill me in on what this says. Confusion... It's gone. It's, no, it's not worked. Never mind. Ben's so glad Cunt is back. What's your favourite thing about Scotland? Not the people, horrible, horrible. Uh, the, uh, what's my favorite thing about Scotland? Travis, obviously, <laughs> goes without saying actually. Travis, frying rabbit, quite like Biffy Clyro. Jen's all right, I guess. Uh, you know what, no, Edinburgh's an amazing city. I love, I, I love Scotland, I don't know why I said that. Scotland is beautiful. Um, Buckfast, what else is Scottish? Fright, battered shit. Fraser, Fraser, who joined us full time today. Our um, now, full-time community and social media manager. What a guy. He's got a lovely flat in Newcastle. I'll tell you the address later so you can all pop around and see him. Um, oh, the toilet, spick and span. You never see, you could eat your dinner off of it. He's a hell of a tap. No, it's good. It's good. Fraser, fine. But it's really cool, right? Because, like, Fraser was our first ever work experience kid. I don't say work experience kid. Work experience student or whatever. Um, and... Yeah, to have him full time with us is really fucking cool. I'm really, really proud of it. So, yeah, Fraser's Fraser is now full time part of the team. We're gonna watch some shows. We're gonna watch some some shows. I saw him. He popped in today to pick up a monitor. He's looking well. What a handsome young man. Uh, oh fucking hell! Look at this, Matt Too Fat gifting out five subs as well. Look at that. Thank you very, very much. Congratulations to Neo Baza, to the Twed, to Laugh Out Lloyd, to Stacey Ems, and to Jazz Cat. Bless you. Bless you. Isn't that lovely? Thank you so much. Cheers. Right. What should we start with? Uh, let's start with the, the, the kids show. Uh, we're going to do Are You Smarter Than a 10-Year-Old first. Let's see run up the quality on that. Oh, it's pretty shite quality. I guess it's a new show, so it won't look too bad. Turn the annotations off. 16 by 9. Series two, episode one. Welcome to uh, Are You Smarter say, Martin, Than a Ten-Year-Old. Martin, Martin, it's a Martin brand McCutcheon. new term. And this time, we're putting yeah, celebrities I... to the test. Oh, it's fucking man. Wait a second, was that fucking Magnus there? Was that Nick Aldis? Welcome to Are You Smarter Than a Ten-Year-Old. I'm gonna try and name these, you know. It's really loud, isn't it? Sorry, I've just noticed how fucking loud that is. Oh. Yeah, it's a bit better. I'll turn it down just a touch. All right, can't... Yeah, I will do Rogue Traders another time. I don't want to fucking get through all the Rogue Traders too quickly because there's not that many of them. Oliver, big shout out to Gar Munro for his Double or Nothing video on Twitter. I've been howling about it all fucking day. I've not seen it. What is it? What is it? Well, I'm going to name the celebrity here. And this time... David Guest. David's dead. We're putting... Fucking Nick Aldis. I guess plug in... Uh, gladiators at the time that's what he'd have been Celebrities. Alex Zane is he still on the telly former T4 presenter who was on Balls of Steel Eamon Holmes human potato um, what? Lee Ryan from Blue Duncan from Blue Duncan I think that's Duncan can somebody confirm can somebody confirm wait David Guest is actually dead is he I didn't know that I said that with a fucking smile I'm sorry to Duncan yes fucking come on Grammar. Biggins, Christopher Biggins. <laughs> Ooh. 
he's a sports person. Or maybe a gladiator. I can't see what he's wearing there. Not sure on that. Wait, is that the one that Jordan was 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 seeing? That Katie Price was... Uh, oh, Alex something? Alex something? Anybody? He was another gladiator. Oh, who am I thinking of? The, the MMA guy that, that Katie Price was dating. Wayne... Co oh, fuck off. It's not Alex Reed. I thought it was Alex Reed. I don't like it. Not a clue. Trini or Susanna? I don't know who that is. Anyone? Anything up there? Goodbye. Oh, that's uh, Impressionist Guy. Oh, I should know that, because I actually used to quite like his show. I will actually watch some of this soon. Jane McDonald. Of course it's Jane McDonald. She's a singer, right? Not Roy Bremer. Yeah, John Coulshaw. Yeah, that's the one. Oh, that's that's thingy off breakfast TV like as well. Up there. Goodbye. They had some alright celebrities on this. That's oh, what's his fucking name? Richard Arnold. Well done. Biggins again. Not a fucking clue who that is. Anyone? It's a bit like Nydia. Anyone? Wayne Rooney. That's not Wayne Rooney. Sally Gunnell. Who's Sally Gunnell? Biggins again. They love Biggins. Not a. Coronation Street, why now, am I doing this? We're, we're getting on with it, come on. This. Come out. Oh, you are there she is. And what a weird thing to finish on. To and they've got children as well, so obviously. Right, here we go, Martin. Martin why are we doing this? Because I feel better down here. Yeah. Oh, excuse me, I think I've got to go home. Will she have to admit? I am definitely, definitely not. Can you hear all right? Is it a bit, it's not, still, not seems a bit loud on my levels. A bit all over the we place. See their happy Fuck off, you face. crazy bastard. Right, let's meet the, meet the children, I guess. Oh, you smart little 10-year-old. Hopefully Noel isn't asked any science questions. <laughs> Did you visit Richard in prison or visit his unturned boat? Oh, fuck off! Lord, yes. Fuck off Welcome about that. Celebrity. Are you smarter than a ten-year-old? Mike, Where when I was 16, a the teacher said I looked like a young Eamon Holmes, and my stream profile picture has been a very close-up image of him ever since. Take it as a compliment. Money. Sorry for calling him a potato as well, mate, if you look like him. In tatters. The risk is well worth taking, because the star you're about to see could win a quarter of a million pounds. For charity, right? All of the subjects come from the For charity? They, they didn't even sure. mention... As usual. And so this show, if you've not seen it before, right, it sounds a piece of piss because like, I'd like to think I'm smarter than a 10-year-old. But it's, 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 it should be called, it's not as catchy, are you more book smart than a 10-year-old on things that the child has learned recently? It's, re it's hard. It, some of these are quite tough. Primary school teachers. And the most important thing... My excellent, Infinite brilliant, RX. Happy 11 months. Hope you're doing well. Thank you very much. Cheers for 11 months. Here. We've got Joel. What the fuck? Oh, Show off. What the fuck oh, is that? I hate Olivia's him. Here. Fine. Here. Fuck off. All we're missing is... It should be called, Are You Fucking Smarter Than A Little Private Schooled Dweeb, because these aren't normal kids. Look at the state of them. That, no offense if you're watching, Luca, but these are not normal kids. These are not normal kids. These are little yeah. posh boys and girls, right? Scum. All we're missing is the star. Ladies and gentlemen, first one out, Martin McCutcheon. There she is. Uh, Saw Knob 69, always wondered why Barry Moore sings, whether young or old, no one left out in the cold. I guess the pool must have been heated. Fucking hell, mate. What's she doing? Did he give her a weird kiss there? Is that a kiss on the hand? I need to get on with this. What a charmer. Oh, twat. Luke is my son. How dare you? Sorry, Vi. He's my least favourite. But I don't really like any of them. So Stephen, have you seen the American version of this? It's called Are You Smarter Than Fifth Grader? I've seen clips for it. I don't think I've ever seen a full episode. It was revived a few years ago. And John Cena hosted. I didn't know that. Interesting. Um, I do love acting. There's nothing for me like being Handy, isn't it? Being your fucking job. Being somebody else or a different version of you. I love that feeling. Love it. I've been but yeah, but what do you like? What, you got any hobbies? embarrassing moments. Ah. I thought they might ask you that. <laughs> mm, yeah, it's it's actually 
Quite a good story. It's it's well worth hearing. Shit I was herself. Then asked out by French royalty on a date, and at the time I was in EastEnders. Give me a. Ooh. She was in EastEnders. I knew it. I was quite nervous, and we went to this charity do, and there were canapes and things like that, and not much, you know, else to eat, and lots of champagne. And by the end of it, I've gone, excuse me, I think I've got to go home. I just don't feel like I'm very well. I think it's time to go. And uh, he's like, oh, OK, no problem, no problem. So he gets me downstairs into the car, and there's all these paparazzi outside going crazy. And I went... He's going to vomit. This sort of weird exorcist noise. And he said, oh, darling, are you all right? And I said, oh, no, 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 I think I'm going to be sick. Well, the driver heard me. He went, listen, mate, you can't let her be sick in this car. I can't let her be sick in this car. And he said, well, well she cannot be sick outside. There are so many photographers. No, no, no. I said, just, I've got to do it. I've got to do it. So I wound down the window, and it was so embarrassing. I was sick, and all the paparazzi just went... Oh. And right. Is this legit? She insists she did vomit in Mick Hucknall's hair. So are there any pictures? No, she's talking fucking shit. Oh, there are all these, there are all these paparazzi. And not one of them got a fucking shot of it because it's a made up shit story for a TV show. That is bullshit. Absolute, I knew those fucking bollocks because that would have been a very famous photo. It's not even that fucking embarrassing. People get drunk and throw up all the time. I've got way worse than that, you fucking... All right, back to it. I wanted to die. Shambles. It was originally hosted by comedian Jeff <laughs> Foxworthy. I know Jeff school, Foxworthy. And then John Cena hosted it years ago. It was interesting. Yeah, about that kid. She was, she was expelled, expelled from school. From school. Oh. Tell us why. Vile, thank you for the gift of sub to Seth. Um, Cheers. Well, I was a bit of a workaholic even as a kid, and I kept saying, oh, I'm really not well, I've got measles, and I'm really not well, I've got mumps. And it turns out, really, I was filming something, and um, it was certificate day, and I thought that the show was going to be shown way, way later Wait, on. Wait, maybe I wasn't paying attention, but that fucking, that story she told didn't involve Mick Hucknall at all. Is she, is she changing her story for each shitty show she goes on? I need to get on with this. I want to out, shown the night get an early night tonight. It was certificate day when I was meant to be off sick. And the next day, Mr Vogue, my headmaster, went, I want a word with you, McCutcheon. I think someone's going to need to be having a good talking to. And I thought, oh, no. And it turns out they wanted to expel me because I didn't just do it the once. I did it a lot. I kept popping up on TV. Doesn't sound very hopeful, this, does it, really? <laughs> For a big, what? big money win. Full of shit. When you Joel, win, uh, FYI, that's Joel, that Joel is not me, but I did used to pretend it was when I was on. When <laughs> Um, for cystic fibrosis. That's true, it's excellent. Um, it is for charity. Yeah, that's a nice cause as well, you big liar. So smug kids do that. I really hate smug kids. Me too, the smuggest on this show. My half was diagnosed with it literally two days ago. Oh. Um, she lost her dad uh, from it um, about a year ago. And uh, my childhood right. friend, Keep uh, Simone, um, died of cystic fibrosis. Oh, that's horrible. So it's a horrible fucking... To help. Even if just mentioning it is all I get to do. It's oh, great. bless her. Thank you for that. We now know why. No, he doesn't believe in, in cystic fibrosis, it's obviously. Or well, he does, like but he thinks it can be cured class. with a silly machine for 200 quid off eBay. He's a nutter, Noel Edmonds. I'm going to go for hand kissing Harry. Hand kissing Harry. Right. Uh, Wilbur, I've been watching the stream since last year's mania, but now I've finished with GCSEs. I'm ready for more classrooms to come. You're at GCSEs. You're not old enough to be watching these. With a snapper. For you, he knows a lot about these subjects here. Oh. There are ten of them. Okay. And we've got literacy for six-year-olds, animal science, English grammar, world geography. And then at the top, you see Spanish and music uh, for ten-year-olds. The money is the all-important thing. We know why you want the money. Yeah. And we start at £250 for the first question, and then we climb to £5,000. At £5,000, you are... <laughs> no, You're just getting completely in shot there. And then We're you really march on to £100,000. All right, we fight. you then answer a very simple question for a 10-year-old, and you win for your charities... £250,000. Nice. It's big money, isn't it? Great charity. In the event we do not get to that point, you have to look into that camera over there and say TV's most embarrassing confession. <laughs> Let's find out if Martin McCutcheon is. I'm a liar who a made up a story about vomiting in a taxi. She's already embarrassed herself. So Second, once got into the IP waiting area of an airport, right, no, not no, legitimately, no, of course, no and the kids in there were like these kids, uh, little Tory shites. On, Tell you what, I'm one of those cunts now. I'm not like I've been in an airport in like way over a year. 
but I got a free card to go in the airport lounges. It's fucking brilliant. All you can, all you can drink pints at 10 a.m. as many sausages as you want. I'm one of those cunts now. Not as bad as her. She's was big, a disgrace. I think it's not quite big enough for me. Get you, I know, Matt. Not big I enough know. for you. No. <laughs> Do you want to come nearer to it? Can I have a quick look? Yes, absolutely. You know Sorry, what? Everyone. I never used them before. She can't even see. Okay. Can, can she not else. read, or is she? She's not got her glasses. Uh, oh. Thanks. What the fuck? Oh, I feel like I'm a mastermind now. <laughs> Better show. <laughs> You're right, dear. Do you want sugar in that? It's getting to that time, isn't it? Um, age seven English grammar. Are we going to get to some questions? Age seven English grammar. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Here's the question. Do I go over here? Yeah. Back to where I began. Yeah. Age seven English grammar. Here's the question. How many apostrophes should be in the following? Tell what's down the arches. One, he's. A dab hand at changing number plates and fitting radios. One in he's as one. Phil works down the arches. He's a dab hand. Yeah, one. Thing sentence. Phil works down the arches. What do you mean no pausing? He's a dab hand at changing number plates. That's not radios. fucking cheating. Do not give me that fucking shit. Sorry, I'm pausing a lot here. That. You know what? This this show's really There's slow. I'm putting it on 1.25. Yeah, it's a bit. Well, we'll do the whole show the wrong way round. <laughs> I find it so easy when I just needed a moment to read it, all right? I've got it on a very small screen here. It's not fucking cheating. I've got it right, though. I'm sitting here, frankly. Oh, no, you know it all. Rob, hi, Adam. Glad you're back. It's my birthday on Thursday. Can I have a shout-out? And also, can you give Andrew a bad reference so he can never assault another workplace with the Yorkshire Puddings again? Too right. Five months. Thank you very much. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Have a great day, mate. Question. Big shout-out. I'm going to go for one. 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 Kindly lock it in. It's I two, you think it's two? Thank you. <laughs> well, here's another very pleasant noise. Applause, because you are correct. Yeah. Thank you. Got it right to be cheated. No, she can have... Right, fucking hell. I'm pausing it last time, I promise. She's allowed to take as long as she wants, so I'm pretending that I'm Martin McCutcheon, so I'm allowed as long as I fucking want. If that means pausing it, she was allowed to. Fuck off. Fuck off. Yes, that's one way of looking at it. So... Cheating, subject. these ten-year-olds don't get to pause it. Can't they can't they can't fuck off. Oh, oh, God, this is going to get um, fucking tedious, go isn't it? Remember them or uh, write them down history. for a fucking history hell. For an eight-year-old. Yes. Right, this is the question. Which of Henry VIII's wives had previously Catherine been married Catherine of Aragon. To his I know that. I think. Oh, shit, is it Catherine, Catherine Howard? Of Aragon, Catherine Howard. Or Catherine Parr. Did I just say Catherine of Howard? Catherine of Aragon. I think it's Aragon. I'm not going to pause it. I'm pretty confident on Aragon here. Envy the Hunter, thank you very much. Brand new subscriber. Cheers. I've got an Aragon. Anyone? it's Catherine Howard. Oh, you guys are a bit fucking slow here, aren't you? Normally on these kids' game shows, it's a flood of answers. We got 760 in. We're not thin on numbers. You don't know. You're you're super fucking quick to have a go at me for not knowing answers to these kids' shows. But oh yeah, now you're saying fucking arrogant because I've said it, and I know I'm right. Unbelievable. You're gonna have a peek. Yeah. Fair enough. Adam, stop using Google. You've fucking seen my hands the whole time. On the screen on your right. Oh wait, she's nicking his answer. Well, get 500 pounds. He says Catherine of Aragon. Harry knows his shit because he went to private school. That was the one you thought. I think uh, I'm going to go for that because that was my gut instinct more. Okay, Jam. Well, so I remember when I was about 13 and someone said, your hair looks like Noel Edmonds, you prick. Yes, and I remember saying, what's wrong with that? Oh. She answers it's Catherine a nice do. It's a nice do. Oh, Hank, is it Harry? I hope we're right. God, Adam, as you said, you've not seen it. The video oh, I did of no, Double or Nothing is with Sammy and Sean in the room of chairs set to the Chicago sound. Oh! Yes, you. I did see that and I didn't realise that was you, mate. Doing a face. Good work. Okay, you have locked in Harry's answer, Catherine of Aragon. It's become Andrew your answer. Andrew wouldn't yell at the yes. chat. No, he wouldn't. Because right. he's not employed and he don't, you don't get to talk to you. Oh, we're not. It's a bit, the fucking adverts better not be in here. Catherine of Aragon yes, was the one she's right. I'm really confident on this. Uh, I don't get why people get on your yes, case about yes, cheating yes. at game Rather shows. Adam two. lies, Adam cheats, yes. Adam steals. Other, uh, Learn from the best. Thank you, Snake. Five. Yeah. Well, we didn't. Oh, he was a busy boy. He was, wasn't he? Yeah. Must have been exhausted. Exhausted. How many wines have you had? <laughs> <laughs> uh, two, two so far. Two so far. Yeah. So Lucky far. You. So far. Anyway, moving right on. <laughs> Here we go. You are 
Quite like that from Martin. Nice. Fucking hell, I'm doing two for two. That's 500 quid. Declan, mate, airport lounges are fucking ridiculous. Uh, very how the others live. One of the guys with us was a burly ball tattoo fella. Couldn't have stood it out more surrounded by Tories. Couldn't help I started making neat ball buttons. They are, you know what? They're not actually. Little fucking life hack here. Like she's swapping child. Touch her. What the fuck is that? Why is she doing that? They're arrogant kids, aren't they? Little life hack, genuinely. It's not really a life hack. But if you can get in. Victims of the tsunami. Yeah, wow. How much money nice. did you guys manage to raise? Uh, Twenty thousand. Twenty thousand pounds. That's really. Good. That's nice of her to give up her pocket money for one week, isn't it? Cresses. No, it's a very nice thing. Very nice thing. No, she can't see. So, right, yeah, sorry, the life hack is go to an airport lounge, because generally you can get in there for about 15 quid or so. A fucking pint in an airport is about seven or eight quid. You can more than make your money back. Seriously, I'd really recommend them. <laughs> I really recommend an airport lounge. I am a cunt. I'm a wanker. I you to spell is dumbbell. Dumbbell. Oh. It's two Bs. I'm assuming in the D U M B B E L L. Shit, is it? Yes, it is. It's two. Confident, you'll be pleased to know, because she has dumbbell. Dumbbell. Yeah, dumb bell. Yeah, you got it. You got it all right. It's not one B. It's two. It's two Bs. I'm really confident. Do you want to have a stab at spelling dumbbell? Yeah, because if I do, I don't really lose completely, do no, I? No, you keep your save and your copy if you're right. Only if you're right, and you get a thousand pounds. And what if I'm wrong? If you're wrong, we're dependent upon Evie having the correct answer. Um, what, what do you want to do? There are tw two quick routes here. Get One, on with it. Fucking hell, you're spelling a word, you daft in, bastard. Or you say, I'm out of here with 500 quid. They're the two fast routes. You're a yeah. dumbbell. All right, Rob, that's not very What's nice. The other one? Third route is you have a go spelling dumbbell. Thanks for eight months. Cheers, oh, Rob. I'm just copy. Are you? I think I'm going to just copy. Oh, I'm... your confidence is gone. It has gone. You're it's not it one. Pressure. I'm really oh, confident no, it's two. Right. I'm really, really confident. Oh, that's not nice. It's not my right I'm picturing it in my head. It's just, you know, yeah, it fucking time is. It oh, is. So if I say it and she saves me, I'm fine, aren't I? It's two Bs. Okay, so should I spell it? D-U-M-B. B-E-L-L. She's fucked it. D-U-M-B. E Has she? Has she fucked it? I think spelling. she's fucked it. Spelling. I'm, I'm looking at the chat, okay. and the double B looks we will right. Now reproduce. <laughs> it's it's dumbbell. Oh, can I change my mind? Well, uh, it, technically you can because you haven't locked it in. You know, if you're not 100 percent sure, yeah. because you haven't locked it in yet, yeah. you're not in trouble. So you might want to think about this. This is cheating. This is cheating. I know it's for charity and a wonderful dumbbell. charity yeah. at that. <laughs> I'm quite, I'm quite enjoying the surface. But I'm like, I'm like, maybe can I just copy? What a yeah, weird man. What a so weird, weird man. Are you copying? I'm going to copy. OK, she's copying. So, Evie's answer. You, you looked at me like I was wrong. Did I? Yeah. Oh, I didn't mean to give anything away. You looked at me like I was wrong. It was just, it was just in your eyes. You are wrong. I, okay. I told you, two Bs. Well, have I taken you down completely the wrong road in that case? <laughs> Martin with shades Evie's of Adam Pacitti. Fuck off, Megan. Thank you. Oh, I was wrong. You were wrong if Evie is right. You were wrong, Martin. I trust Evie more than I trust myself. She okay, didn't know the last one either. either. She didn't know the Catherine of Aragon one. Lock it in, please. That now becomes your answer. Daft. Let's look at it on I guess the if you screen. don't know them, you don't know them. Evie's Can't be helped. Word, dumbbell, D -U -M, double B -E -double -L. Uh, Adam, I work for a bank, and one of the perks is we get airport lounge passes. I fucking love them. It's the one and only time it's acceptable to live a Tory lifestyle. I agree. I got mine free with my bank account. Nat West, right? He with Nat West. Are there two Bs? Yes, there are. Or not two Bs? Very oh, no. good, no. That is the question. There are right. two Bs. Yes, come e on. Double L, yeah. you're there. Why are you celebrating? You got it wrong. Absolutely. You didn't know you copied from the child, the fucking ten-year-old child. We have finally arrived at a Did you win the bank again? Uh, Ryan, Martin for six pounds. Can you smell? Can you smell? Can you spell hermaphrodite? Right. Okay, <laughs> right. I didn't copy two the chat. One more subject I said there. it before I fucking looked. Give me a break. Animal science, I hate watching these with you. I'm just going to watch this on my own Give from now on. Give me moment in time. I'm just best to go for what I think I'm going to know best. Yes. Okay, age 10 music. Yes, because you've only got a safe left. Okay. That's a very good move. Thanks. We've got to get you to that 5,000. Yeah. Age 10 music. Yeah. Okay. 
You're good with music, aren't you? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be shy at this. I'm, I won't. Music. So, uh, Unless it's about a band or an coming. artist. A quaver lasts half as long as what other notes? I don't know. Lasts half as long I can. As what I can't even think. You've done a lot of musicals. A crotch shit. I know, but to me, a quaver is a packet of crisps. <laughs> a crotch shit. Oh, it's fucking in there. Semi brave. I don't actually. A minim. It could be a minim. I don't know. People are saying a crotch shit though. I just sing what I'm told to sing. I'm going crotch shit. I'll, I'll yeah, lock that in because I, because I don't know. So I'll sing that. Um, Hashtag Adam is not a cheater. Thank you very much, Alex. Nice man. Fifteen months. It's Cheers. It. So there's no. As far as as far as what what's it half of? Right. So there's no point in me going. A double quaver. Is it a double quaver? Min a lot of people are saying minim. I'm going crotch it. Golf. I'm absolutely disgusted with myself that I don't know the answer to this. I'm an Didn't she have disgrace. like number one singles and stuff? I got to ask you to give us something so that you can be saved. So, oh, I don't want to be saved. I want to get it Look right. Look at that. There you go. <laughs> There's a hoop over Number there. Number one in five. Like that, this is my moment. And you knock the ball through the this hoop. This is my perfect moment. I hated that song. At the beginning of this show, I quite liked yeah. Martine yeah. McCutcheon. I've gone off her a little bit. She's oh, bothered me. Turning okay. up without her specs. Crocket. Croquet. Crocket. 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 A crocket. A pocket. A locket. A socket. Oh. Crotch it, you just, fuck. Just say anything, just lock anything in because she'll save you. Oh, I'm so close. Yes, yes I know, I know. And so are we. So <laughs> just, just lock anything Crotch in. It. I promise you, she'll save I've you. I've got it right then. I've got it there. right. A fuck me. A croquet. A croquet. Crotch it. Oh, this is tedious. This is on 1.25 speed as well. Just lock it in. No, no. Just lock it Martin McCutcheon also declared bankruptcy, says Arkham. How many of these little Tory shits can you take in a fight? Oh, all five of them. Oh, I can't deal with this. Shut the fuck up. You'll be. Yeah. Let's get it. You locked in Crockett. Crockett. You'll be. You'll be surprised to learn you're wrong. I was trying to help you. Croquet. Yeah. But the correct answer would have been crotchet. Thank you. So you were so close. So close. And now the only way you can get two and a half thousand pounds is if Evie. Well, Evie's got, got it. Right. We know Evie's got Evie it. This is a very flawed a show. Music than who has Luca would fuck, fuck you up, that. <laughs> yeah, here maybe. Evie's, Evie's All right. Crotch it. Can we fucking get on with it? This is we're never doing this show again. Charities. I've got to deal with this fucking dilly dallying on the screen. Crotchet. You fuckers having a go at me. I got it right. I've just won. What is that? Two and a half grand, or is that a grand? Okay, thank you, Evie. Thank you very much indeed. We say goodbye. You have been absolutely mega. No, two and a half. Beautiful. Oh, Big George Barrios. Hey, Adam, it's your forehead, forehead friend, George Barrios here. Look at the miserable Tory gets on this show. Bring back Matt. All right, I will do next week. This is not as the price. Rest in peace, Freddie from School of Rock. I saw that. I saw that. And not his career after this show. I saw. It's really sad that Freddie thing, isn't it? We've got to get her to five thousand pounds. In which case. That is guaranteed money. Here comes your literacy I'm smashing this so far. Six-year-old. In the popular children's nursery rhyme, Pussycat, the queen. Pussycat. The queen. Who has Pussycat been to visit? The queen. The is it the queen? Rhyme, Somebody Pussycat, fucking Pussycat. say the queen in the chat. I'm got to look it in already before you even start talking. Anybody? Somebody said the fucking queen. Well, I just don't remember. Somebody don't said the I fucking mean, queen. Here we go. It wasn't one that really sort of He's on it, here, is it not? Well by any means. The king, it's not the king, it's the queen. It's the queen. Miss Muffet or yeah. Jack and Jill or yeah. you know, any of those, I'd have been okay, but Trent. I don't know much about Pussycat. Sonny Guevara, pussycat. Okay, Tom Jones. Oh, yeah, Tom Jones. Pussycat, Pussycat. Pussycat, Pussycat. pussycat. Good I'll song, that. Mm. Uh, we should watch Gianna Michaels next week instead of this dude. I'd love to. I'd love to. Two and a half thousand pounds. We skip road oh, traders for this shit. All right, you, we've got to try new things. Know, they can't know, all be winners. Something for them rather than nothing. Maybe the next celebrity will be awesome. Maybe it'll be fucking Magnus. Maybe Nick Aldis. Thank you. I mean it. I mean it. I'm silly when we've done it. I quite like him. I've said it. I've said it before. I wouldn't have the guts to do this, but you're doing it for a very good reason. Yeah, I don't mind making. Maybe it'll be Joe Guest. Do you know the answer to the question? No. Then, I'll be very, very upset if there are tits happy. in this show. It's called okay. Are You Smarter Than a Ten-Year-Old? Right. She's out. She's done. You did very, very poorly, Martin. Well done on raising money for a nice charity. But you have embarrassed right, yourself you there. Said the queen, you would have had £5,000. That's where the Fucking come on. 
but you have two and a half thousand pounds, and now you have the ordeal of looking into that camera just there. Ah, uh, yep. The one with Can't the red even light. see it. Say yes. your full name, please, and say TV's most embarrassing confession. Hi, I'm Martine McCutcheon, and I am definitely not smarter than a ten-year-old. But she has two and a half thousand pounds. Smashed it. Well done. Another celebrity. Well, my fingers are crossed for. I like Biggins. I think Christopher Biggins. Why has she gone off with the kids in her arms? It's British TV. Thought they did. <laughs> yeah, I, I'd, I'd be happy with Biggins. If a little short-sighted performance by Martine McCutcheon. Adam Howard's private school. I'm, ne I'm, I'm not private school. Stay educated. But as always, I'm a man of the people, working class hero. Class. What the fuck? So I watched, uh, I went to the theatre and saw um, Tim Minchin's uh, Matilda. And they remind me of the kids in that. These, the, they're just, they're too much. It's like they've, they're not real children. I'm not saying they're like, they're dressed up, they're not. They've, they've been told to act like, they, like normal children do, but they're so obviously posh and awful that they can't do it because they don't have a proper childhood. Sorry if you were on it or something. Right, I know I'm going to get shit emails again one day. You're not real. Weird little... Oh. The lovely Rhea is with us. Oh. Fuck off. And cheeky Alicia. Hate every single one of them. All here to hopefully help a very special person. Uh, we should watch... She is oh, sorry, no, described come up as again. a national treasure. An not going to watch Gianna Michaels. Ladies it's an Olympian. Sally Gunnell. Who? Oh, that's that woman that I didn't know. I initially I thought it was what's her name off? Um, is it Natalie off? Uh, two pints of crisps and a pack of lager. I'm very well. Oh, yes. welcome. Is this Thank you. Is Adam? This you are my hero. Kieran, get better heroes. This is worse than right, like that on guy. Yes, just about Noel to Edmonds. Run a, uh, Olympic final, actually. No. She does it's look uh, like fucking fun. Sarah J, doesn't she? She really does. Just a second. I've got to be. Did I just say two pints of crisps? <laughs> you know what I meant. Wait, I can't. Just a second. That off before I accidentally show tits again. Sarah J. Is it going to immediately come up with. Safe search is on, so I should get away with it. She really does. Okay, this is safe. Open image in new window. I've got, a, I've got a safe for work image. Is this disrespectful? She's an Olympic hero, isn't she? She's like Kurt Angler, the UK. Let me just crop the tips out. She really does, look at this. That is quite... Just saying, just saying. Right, back to the show. Bookmark that for later. On that start line, yes, just about to run a, uh, an Olympic final, actually, no. It's, uh, I'm looking forward to it. I've got these guys. They're, they're brilliant. Tell me how to go. When did your Everyone whole knows athletics career actually start? Is it Sarah J or Sarah J? Oh, Sarah J. Um, I suppose it's I don't, I actually don't know. So probably five years But old. she's like a, she's a megastar. Um, she's transcended the, uh, online pornography. And realises that I could catch all the boys that I quite fancied. Um, used to do a bit of, uh, I lived on a farm and I used to hurdle over the bales as well and things like that. So, she's likeable, yeah, I, I like her. And it's not a moment to be modest, Sally. Tell us about your achievements. Um, where does it go? Well, we obviously, Olympics in 1992, 400 hurdles, that gold medal. Um, thank you. Hero. Um, Every one of these kids look like they're auditioning. Champion, yes. And um, a world champion and world record holder. And um, I don't know, I suppose an OBE on the end of that. So, yeah. Sounds pretty good. I like her. She's just listed off her achievements while sounding course, fairly modest about it. Yeah. I'm into her. I'll gamble it today. What was school like? Did you get school qualified? I did, uh, yeah. I sort of got distracted by my sport, really. I sort of, right from 14, I knew exactly what I wanted to do in my life. I wanted to well, she smashed it. She's an OBE. I didn't know who she was. John, it only took a year to go from don't be mean to the kids to calling the cunts. Big hero energy. Have some bits. Thank you, John. Cheers. Did I ever say don't be mean to kids? I don't think I ever did, did I? Older two, when would um, I have said that? Finley normally says mum. <laughs> Doesn't sound like it. me. So, but uh, yeah, I usually sit there and have a little go. How's she going to do, John? 
Uh, oh, Acadra, oh, Sally Gunnell. <laughs> oh. I didn't like that hand movement. <laughs> we, 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 I thought that was <laughs> fucking <laughs> Dominic Littlewood there. I've been pausing this a lot, haven't I? Why is he surrounded by children? Where have these all come from? These are the working class. These are, these are the state school kids. You're not clever enough to answer questions, but you can go and sit in the crowd, make up the numbers. You, of course, could win a huge sum of money. Yeah. If you do that, it's not going to change Sally your Gunnell was an Olympic medalist, and Sarah J held the gangbang record um, for a while. Both experts. The church is called the Point Ooh. Foundation, and I've recently been out to the orphanage Fucking in Rwanda. Be respectful. Um, 650 kids that from She's looking yeah, after zero zero orphans. Age, right up to 18, I love have orphans. There's, there's no what a great woman. She is so excellent. Sort of created the, the Point Foundation over the last six months. Trying to redeem myself here. Every penny I can get today will make a big difference. Lots of VAR on today's show. Clap in for the fucking Olympic hero. Battle these Battle kids, come on. We don't play in pennies, so every What's her name? I can't remember her name. I'm going to call her Sarah difference. J there. What? Ready to go? I am. Come on, let's hey. track on with it. Oh, I hate him. Fuck off. Oh. Uh, John, of course I got a toss uh, in the bitch. Cheers, John. Much love to you, as always, Adam, from the biggest cold product fans in Iowa. Cannot wait to attend I all that in person in Chicago, you lucky bastard. That's was. awesome, mate. It wasn't mummy, daddy. <laughs> money. It, it was money. Milk. It was beer. 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 No, it wasn't. <laughs> He's done a Martin <laughs> McCutcheon there, hasn't he? Talking shite. Saying, um, say beer, say beer, and you can have some beer. So I said beer, and I got some beer. Full of shit. Okay, here we go. Here is your You're not cool, kid. First two questions, and here are the ten subjects that Fucking hopefully idiot. will take you to a quarter of a million pounds. There's music and maths for a six-year-old. Right, I'm going for a clean sweep here. Well, oh, we're on a hype train. Here. What's happening here? Well, geography, maths, and spelling at the Sir, top. Sir, Steve Redgrave. Redgrave, Redgrave. How hard can it be to ride a boat? Be German sport. I mean, yeah, it could be age six music, grandstand theme, something like that. Okay. Yeah, you never know. You ready, Joseph? Okay. Hang on a minute. I've oh, got to no, do the big build-up. Right, I'm off. Look, I'm desperate. You no, 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 you just flex a muscle or two, because this is the moment I say, let's prove that Sally Gunnell is smarter than a ten-year-old. Get on with the fucking questions, Noel. We've watched this for about half an hour, right? And we've had five Wait, questions. Start orders. I um, will start with age six music. Good. Okay. Oh, not music again. <laughs> and... The question is, in the popular children's nursery rhyme, Pop Goes the Weasel, how much rice is there? Half a pound of rice, half a pound? Half a pound of the butter rice, half a pound of easel. That's the way we like to play pop. I don't know, though. Is it half a pound? You could tell it to us. Half a pound of rice sounds reasonable. Oh, do that. I want to press that. Well, you have to give us an answer. You have to give an answer. Half a pound. This is a treacle. totally different way of playing the game. Sounds about right, isn't it? Basically, you have to believe that you give the correct answer, but you never say it. You know that, right? You've, you've got 250 pounds. Let's move on to the next one. Half a pound. Half a pound. Um, it is half a pound. Got it. Nice. Dawson, how are you, beautiful man? I hope you had a great time seeing the parents. The when you streaming Red Dwarf? Weasel? What's a Red Dwarf? Okay. So uh, love you in your face from Mike Kirsty and Bruce. Half Hello, Bruce. It's the only one that matters. Thank you, you Dawson. No, we wouldn't get away with Red Dwarf, mate. It's on Netflix as well. Straight in there. Nice. 250 smackers. Oscar, oh, out of the with your oh, eyes like two oh, lumps of coal in a puddle oh, of semolina. Sally Gunnell uh, is a treasure, but her name does sound oh, like rhyming slang for a deviant act. Yeah, go, fair um, point. Where are these eight, two lumps of coal in a puddle of semolina? Oh, I'm fucked now. An eight -year -old. I'm fucked. Which country is highlighted on this map? I don't know. Identify I genuinely country. do not know. How were you with geography at school? I was okay, actually. It probably it's fucking was massive. It's South America, is it Brazil? He's trying to remember People are saying Brazil. I think country. I'd have been ooh, I'd have been a bit fucked there. Ooh. All right, I've got every other one, right? I got half a pound of fucking well, it's, rice. It's, it's it's, I said Brazil eventually. Yeah. It is uh, easy and I've embarrassed guess. myself well, there. Like to do this, wouldn't you? Well, maybe not do it quite this way. But I bet you'd like to oh. Yeah, I didn't see that there. Yeah. So we've got Argentina, we've got Brazil. See, it's one of those strange worlds that you can take the top off. <laughs> She just said it. She just said it. She doesn't know either, and she's an Olympic gold medalist with a broken freaking neck. Actually, I'm actually safe giving you this bit. It's not on there. No, you're not. That's that's eliminating countries. 
She's now going to know that it's I've not the North Pole. Where did you say it was? Uh, South America. Yes, 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 I've got a bit yeah, of South America Because it's Brazil. It's a fucking... It was huge. Of course it is. Where's that clean sweep, Adam? So Still right country, here. It's a fucking said Brazil, yeah. cunt. OK, I think I'm... I'm, I'm oh, yeah, Oliver, thank you. Um, Five gifted subs going on there. Cheers. I think it's Brazil. Do you? Spot on, yeah. well done. you'd be nuts to get it wrong. Congratulations <laughs> to Bobby, to Faux Veritas, to Big Holmes, okay, to Kenny Sim, and to Riley. Oliver, thank you so much, mate. And Arkham, thank you for your gifted sub, too. Mr. Pool. Pretty good going. Five hundred pounds for your charity. Oh, I'm in bad. I'm really sorry. There took any Brazilians. Love a Brazilian. Any Brazilians? <laughs> that was cheap, right. wasn't it? Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, in the chat, I'm really yeah, sorry no, for not no, recognising your beautiful country. We did a bit of research into your charity, the Point Foundation. Okay. Five hundred pounds you've got. The purchase of seeds and tools to allow the growth of crops oh, for good. the orphanage. So uh, we're already into important. Yeah. Seeds and tools. Five hundred quid. <laughs> Kind of being cheap, you get a lot cheaper than that. Who are you now going to have help? That's the most annoying bit, isn't it? Hurry up! Hi, did you know Macho Man Randy Savage, Princess Di, Paul Walker, and Ryan Dunn all suffered from dandruff? I'm not reading that, mate. That's horrible. Yeah, she's been doing a bit of lingering, haven't you? What have, what have you learned? I can say, are you smarter than a ten-year-old in Gujarati? In Gujarati? Yeah. Please do. I can't say you're a rough thing. Show off. There's a lot of them. Wow. Very good. So? I know where Brazil is She's after, cheeky, so after 30 seconds, so... £1,000 so. so, is your next Go target. Go and play with fucking you Pogs, you little weirdos. Get Let's a go life. Yeah. I got That's a life. That was said with a bit of a shrug. I know, this is the sort of thing that I like... oh, okay. Here Knows Brazzers but doesn't know Brazil. <laughs> it's off, Jesse. Built 18 beehives in the garden. Oh, I'm, like, like, I'm pausing it because I need to concentrate. I've got loads of shit going on in these. Amy built 18 beehives in the garden. Blake built half as many, but two fell apart. So nine minus seven. How many? So seven plus 18, 25. As many, but two fell apart. Right. How many beehives do Amy and Blake have? Don't have a go at me for cheating, Amy for pausing it. She's got as long as she wants. It's garden. not cheating, so Blake fuck off. Half as 25. But two fell apart. No, Sidious, thank you for the Amy bits. Declan, think about all the things Tory kids miss out on. Watching dodgy copies of films in the cinema with people's heads going, going up and down. <laughs> buying stolen meat from a man in the pub. Or knowing someone who I did... Well, what? Who did what? Team. Going to shit in fun thing. What a Declan, it really trails <laughs> off at the end there, mate. I don't know what you're on about. Who did going to but shit fun fair? What? Who so did how many what? Beehives are actually any good. That is an easy two. question, so I think. You can really show yourself up, couldn't you? I am going to say 25. Well Go done. Then. Oscar, George Bush was okay, told that a Brazilian so soldier was killed during the war in Afghanistan beehives. and responded with Blake absolute shock. A Brazilian? That's like. <laughs> I've not heard a fucking George Bush joke in a long time. We're going on a break. We know it's 25. Log on to 27, they rebuilt the break on one. Meet our brand new classmates and play the Are You Smarter game at home. Every question right today. Every question right. Thank you very much. Sally's attempt to win a massive amount of money for her charity, and you locked in that there were 25 beats. Yes. And you feel very confident about it. I do. That is because you are correct, of course. A piece of piss. Finley, how's Mum doing? Good. Think she's doing all right? Yeah. Good. Two thousand five hundred pounds. <laughs> Thanks for the input, for that, Finley. Mate. But you still have all three of your <laughs> safe copy. That's why he's not on there. He's not got the charisma now? for "Are you smarter than a ten-year-old?" Let's go. Let's go. I'm going to go age nine, world geography. Age nine, world geography. You're all right about that. Yeah, yeah. I'm fine. Yeah. Oh, not geography again. Two and a half thousand pounds could be yours if David and Walliam. Are swimming around the Cayman Islands. David and Walliam, I feel they did there. <laughs> the Caymans. Oh. If David and Walliam are swimming around the Cayman I Islands, I don't know which that. Sea are they in? No, the Pacific. The, uh, in the Caribbean. Caribbean. You mean? Um, there you go. I didn't know that to one. To I did. Of course, not the Pacific. But, uh, yeah, I didn't know that. Is it the Cayman Islands where they yeah. all the all the tax stuff goes on? I only really know it from the Simpsons. I think it's Caribbean. Um, sea, not ocean. I don't know. Is there a eyes. difference? Ocean. Oh yeah. Yeah, of course there is. Ocean. Don't look at me. I can't She's got you. it. She's got it. Okay, I don't I'm know. Right, I've got one ocean. wrong. So have you okay. at home. 
your fucking mouth in the chat. Because you're not on the spot here. Five thousand with those three in place. This not means you're not going to go for big money. Well, I know that I'll need help later. Tax haven. Yeah. See. Yeah. Crusty. Crusty was doing his tax there, wasn't he? And for some reason. Rhea, Cayman Highland, Cayman Island Holding wrong. Corporation. You're actually walking out of here with nothing. It's a sea. It's in a please, gulf. Rhea, oh please. The answer you gave was not 100%. I said gulf rather than gulf there. Okay. Hiya, Bean. Welcome. However, the answer you gave. I didn't know it, so I'm out. Was good enough. Caribbean Sea. <laughs> She's good, isn't she? She's a lot better than Martine. Thank you. Nightmare. Sorry for being late. Work got me busy Watch thinking it's a fucking Monday. Glad to be watching the best thing about uh, the week again. Have I missed you swearing any children yet? No, I've been as good as gold. I think all these kids are great. Very talented, intelligent, little rats. Especially that one. £5,000 is the safety point. Where do you want to go, Sally? Come on. Uh, are these getting harder? Well, I guess not. Let's go. Age seven, English grammar. Okay, I should be right at this. It's I might have to pause it again if it's a sentence pounds. or something. What are the I don't know that. In the following sentence. Linford and Christie wore leotards. I don't know. I think it is a proper noun and name. I, ne I, I don't know what an adverb is. I don't know what a verb is. I'm going to go Linford and Christie, but I don't this. know. I remember going over this. I think a proper noun and is a name. I'm exams. pretty. Oh, dude, ooh, what got are you it. saying? So I got it right. Honestly, I don't know what a verb is. I don't know what an adjective is. Because oh, my memory is so poor, it's pathetic. Uh, it's feeling like you're gonna I know, have to use I am a buffoon. Well, I got it right, didn't I, Patrick? Uh, but it was a guess. Have a little peek. Yeah. Yeah. Verb okay. is a doing like word. Have a peek at Part Ben's of your job answer. is writing. Not really, this Gar. Not really. I mean, we have writers. We have people that Linford can do and that stuff. To the gym. What are the proper nouns? He thinks it's Linford and Christie. He's got it. Adjective is a descriptive word. Okay. Yes, because that's what I thought. Verb, yep, verb is a doing word. I remember that. And Christy. I remember Mr. Mum, my teacher. <laughs> this is terribly important. If both of you are wrong, you're walking with nothing. I'll, I won't remember it. It doesn't matter. Because this amount of money... I can write a sentence. I fucking nailed the apostrophe one. And tactically, you need to get to 5,000 pounds. Tell you what, Isle of Wight, I've Educate never seen anywhere with, with as many signs with additional or missing apostrophes. Both of you There's are right. A, oh. She's smashing here. Oh, the episode's about to end. I guess she'll, she'll be back next week. Is that it? Oh, yeah, the bell's gone off. That's a lot. Well, that was a shit show. I don't think we'll do that again. Let me show you this place, right? Um, oh, I'll have to go on Google Maps, I think. Talk amongst yourselves, all right? Uh, what's the fucking thing? Um, ride Esplanade. Yeah, it wasn't a great show, was it? One of the first things you see when you get off the uh, when you get off the ferry, and this has been there since I was a kid. Just drop the map there. Go along here. And it's a good restaurant, right? Well, you, I say restaurant. Oh, they fucking changed it. I didn't. I didn't look. Oh, the the street signs in the way. No, it's not. Look at that. How embarrassing, eh? That's one of the first fucking things you see. Again, great food. I'd thoroughly recommend it. Nuts, right? Restaurant. Great place, though. Very, very good food. But it winds me up every time I see it. This is what I've been experiencing. That's not there anymore, I don't think. The Bendula. I think it's something else now. Subway. See all the great stuff we've got? I'm just going to do this for the rest of the time. Coburg's. That's shut. I don't think that's temporarily closed either. I think that's done for. Toy Master. This, this was, it used to be called the Sports and Model Shop. Got firebombed by some animal rights uh, activist. I was laughing because I got a discounted cuddly rabbit. So, swings and roundabouts. No, it was really awful. It was really awful. But the rabbit smelled of smoke for ages. Took years. Took years uh, for it to show us everything, please. Show us the old Woolworth she works at. I can do that for you, Steve. Uh, coffee pot, amazing. Really great little cafe there. Um, two doors down, that one was La Croute before. I think it was two doors down. Was it two doors up? No, two doors down. It was a thing called La Croute. They did a fucking 99p breakfast. One sausage, one bacon, beans, mushrooms, egg, slice of toast. 
99p. Isn't that nuts? So this is where the big boys play, huh? Look at the adjective. Play, eh, uh, good point, Wembley. Good what? Good, good, good what? Good point? <laughs> what is Union Jack hair? I don't know, I've never been there. It's a very patriotic hairdressers, I guess. I don't know. Did they not have schoolhouse rock in England? I've never heard of that, mate. What is that? Next is Rude Boy. Thank you very much for the resub. 13 months. Quackers. I see a lot of this is has, has been and gone already. So this will have been while I moved off the art. I used to get my hair cut there, Robert Lee's. Quackers about craft. To let gone. My mum loved it in there. Oh, I think this is quite a recent photo, actually. Maybe a, a year or two old. Show Nigel's old shop. Yeah, I can do that. I can do that. So... I need to get on with this. I'm, I might scrap a show tonight for Isla White shit. Am I losing loads of viewers? Probably. Nexus Rude Boy, thank you very much. Jack, hey Adam, hope you're keeping well. I haven't got a chance to interact in these streams lately as I've been so busy with uni slash placement searching stuff, but I hope you're keeping well nonetheless. Also got fully vaccinated last week. Good lad, one step in getting out of this mess. Hope everything's going well, mate. Nice to see you, Jack. Very nice to see you. Uh, so this is my favorite pub and it's, Yes, it was. It's a hotel bar, and it's not got. It's like I've got mates who hate it. I personally love it. I think the beer's really good in there. There's never any music. You can just chat to your mates. Yelp. It's it's excellent. We should have done this instead of Noel Edmonds shit. Well, I didn't fucking know, did I? Uh, Weatherspoons, one of two, I believe, still Weatherspoons on the Isle of Wight. Um, Nat West used to do my bank in there. That was a. I was a young and we're going up the high street now. I don't know if we'll be able to get up to Woolworths because the road cuts off here. Have they done it? Yeah, they've done it. It's okay. Edinburgh Woolen Mill. Gone the way of the dodo. Clinton's, I think, probably has as well. Is Clinton's card still a thing? It looks depressing. No, it's not that bad. It's not that bad, mate. It, 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 I was pleasantly surprised by how few shops had, had closed. Because um, normally when I go back, it's like, oh, that's gone, that's gone, that's gone. Uh, Mike Stubbsy, I've been a journalist for eight years and still don't know about nouns and adjectives and shit. It's a load of rubbish. Words are words. Thank you, Mike. I'm with you. There you go. He's a journalist. He knows his shit. Grace's Bakery. I, uh, I got stuff from here the other day. I got a fucking Mr. Blobby cake. This is an Isle of Wight thing. It's more a biscuit than a cake. I might have even shown you these before. I, it's just an Isle of Wight thing. These. You can still get these. They're absolute, there you go, Scarrett's Lane. And that's where my dad's shop was, in Scarrett's Lane in Newport. There's still a fucking thing, it's so weird. This is how you end up with tits on the screen, isn't it? If I, if I Google the wrong thing here, gotta be careful. The domestic appliance center, very fond memories of that as a kid. Loved going around the domestic appliance center. New look, I think that might be gone. That's definitely gone. Uh, this one here, Hargreaves. We're getting to it, we're getting to Woolworths. I think it'll be a Peacocks in this photo. It might even be a Peacock still. Quids in. Your discount store. Or, well, they've, they've, they've covered both bases there. Either your discount store or you. Disc hey, you, <laughs> discount store. Maybe that's, maybe that's blurred the, the R. I don't know, no, I don't think it has, does it? You, discount store. <laughs> Uh, we have a Mr. Blobby Cake in my local bakery. Is that true? Oh, I thought it was just an Isla White thing. They're delicious, aren't they? If you can't be asked one week, just do this for a stream. Better than that shit show. Maybe I will. I stayed in the Royal York Hotel when I went to the Isla White. And mate, I've fucking broken into that hotel since it shut down. It's an amazing... So that's, that's five minute walk from my parents' house, the Royal York. Beautiful big Art Deco hotel. Um, and... Yeah, we, uh, we were wandering, or we were pissed one night, and we were looking around, because I love any sort of urban exploration uh, stuff. I love those videos. I know the, I know the guy. Um, I, I say I know the guy. I spoke with him briefly. We were going to meet up for a pint, and it never happened. He does the Isle of Wight, um, Isle of Wight Abandoned videos on YouTube. He's excellent. He's done one of the Royal York. So, yeah, broke into there. Um, so we didn't break into either. There was, a, there was an open window, it was, it was smashed open. And every room still had an old CRT television in it. Uh, there was like all of the linen and there was cutlery and crockery. It was amazing, it was so cool. That spiral staircase, it's just a beautiful building. Castle can be a bit rough. Um, <laughs> also, cheap pints. 
nice. It's come out of new ownership, I think, actually. I, did, I almost went in there because it looked, it looked quite nice. Holy shit, it's still Woolworths. It's still fucking Woolworths. Oh my God. So this is old. This is really old up here. It's, it's closed, but it's Woolworths. Oh, I'm gonna cry, I'm gonna cry. Holy shit. Uh, Bruce was happy you said he was the only one who matters. Kirsty thinks you're a fuppy mum now. It's a fuppy mum. Sounds like a fish. Uh, when are you streaming Don't Get Dumb, Get Dommed? Uh, the wife was an extra in an episode and now will be raging that I shared this with the stream. Dawson, I'll do you some Don't Get Dumb, Get Dommed. That's for sure. Yeah, we'll do that soon. I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry. Uh, I hope I haven't missed anything here. Baines the Bakers up here in Scotland do Mr. Blobby Biscuits too. Fuck me, look at that. I used one in, as my uh, Twitter picture in honor of it. I, I, honestly, I just thought it was an Isle of Wight thing. They are so tasty though, so yeah. Oh, makes me very sad. It, it went, it was like, uh, it was empty for years. So I don't know how soon. I don't know if there's a way of checking. Oh, look, look, image capture, June 2009. When did Woolworth shut? 2008? So quite soon after, I can't believe they've not updated this. Yeah, F F's in the chat for Woolies, please. I'm losing loads of viewers here. I don't give a shite, to be honest. Um, I'm just gonna talk about Woolworths. And then up here, Whites, which I don't think is Whites anymore. Um, fish and chips, really good chippy, really good chippy. This was the cinema and it's, oh, it's so fucking good. It probably says it here, look. When I left here, it was 3.50 a film. Look at that, four quid. Four quid to go to the pictures. What was on? Incredibles 2, Mamma Mia, Anti-Man, Ant-Man, and Christopher Robin. Four quid. Four fucking quid. I went to that cinema. It's a great... They, you, they'll let you bring beer in as well, so you can just bring a load of tinnies in. It's excellent. It's excellent. Really great. And there's a bingo hall next. The Leo Leisure bingo hall. I'm a proud member. Carpets. That's what I got my carpet for my bedroom. See, I, I want to go in. I'll show you where Dad's shop was. So my Dad's shop was in Newport, um, Fleming. I like the Fleming. That's in Binstead. Uh, Wooten. We had drinks here the other day, so we did the Cedars. Are we there? Are we at the Cedars? Oh, have I put it in the wrong place? No, it's there. It's on the corner. That beautiful pub. Isn't that stunning? Senior citizens' lunch, twelve to two. Excellent. Great service. Really, really good pub. Sorry, yeah, I'm going to the thing. I will, I will stop this soon. I will stop this. Where the fuck's Binfield? Uh, and then we're going to Newport. Uh, there's McDonald's, so it'll just be down this street. I don't know if they'll get up there. Oh, hello. There it is. There's Dad's shop. Many happy memories in there. <laughs> there was big outrage when, the, uh, when, the, uh, when a sex shop, shop opened on the, uh, on the Isle of Wight. There were fucking, there were petitions and shit about how it would, it was sacrilege and how, how could they do that to the Isle of Wight? How do I drag this down? There we go. Is that gone? I don't know how to delete that proper. Fuck off. I don't want it there anymore. That. There we go. Uh, Pile Street. Oh, I've got lost now. I need to get back to McDonald's. Where's this street? I don't know where the fuck I am. B and M. Oh, easy way. Oh, I know where I am. I'm. I'm. Uh, this is the street that's parallel to my dad's shop. How old's the picture? 2018. It's not going to happen. No chance of us seeing Sound Around, which was its name. Can we go up Scarrett's Lane? We can. Oh man, this takes me back. I've not been up here in about 10, 15 years now. So yeah, I, I ran my dad's shop, eQuest. So wait, how old's this? I don't know, still August 2018. Uh, used to do um, LAN parties in there, play Battlefield 1942, excellent game. Uh, played a bit of CS, CS 1.6 in there. You can change the date of the image. Oh, really? Under the address, how do you mean? Wait, let me get to the shop, let me get to the shop. So this was the, Oh, it's the tech store now. This was it. Just a little, little thing. There we go. That was it. Where do I do it? The, the name was Sound Around, Aiden. Still my dad's email address. 
How do, how do I do it? In the left corner. Here. There. Where? Ah, oh, look, look, roll back. Oh my God. Oh no, and it goes back to 2015. How cool is that though? I didn't know that was a thing, that's awesome. The bit bucket. That is incredible. Thank you for teaching me that everyone, because I really didn't know that. And then I guess it was empty. Oh no, there's a load of PCs in there still. That's amazing. It used to be a head shop here, turned into cheap thrills. Anyway, right, and this is, sorry, this is the bakery where you get your Mr. Blobby cakes. I wonder if we can see them in the window. I bet we fucking can, actually. Maybe not here. Oh, it's your bread. No way, they wouldn't have stopped doing them. They still do them now. Big old fucking French fancies there, I think. Custard slice, I think, is that? Okay, let's try, let's scoot forward. Come on, Mr. Blobby cakes. Come on, Mr. Blobby cakes. How do I how do I make it go? Oh, there we go. Oh, bit of an upgrade. PVC. Got angling in to do that. Wait, is that Mr. Blobby Cake there? No, it's bread. Uh, not zooming in on the child. Uh, no, it's not looking good. This. God, they've. This is pathetic, isn't it? Why am I doing this? Uh, I can't get to the window on this one. That might be a blobby leg there. <laughs> Losing viewers again. Uh, oh, come on, I can't get to it. I can't get to it. Nah, it's not looking good. Anyway, anyway. Anything else you want to see? I wonder if we can see Black Gang Chine. I am scrapping a show tonight, by the way, because of this shite. So uh, I guess we'll scrap stars in their eyes. I'll do, I'll, I'll, I'll let you guys choose what show we scrap actually. Because <laughs> I've been a selfish shit and I want to get some dinner tonight. What are we scrapping? I prefer it when these go, go a bit. Stars in their eyes, big break, take me out. I might be able to fit them all in, I'll see. Get your votes in, get your votes in. Let's see if I can show you Black Gang Chai. I don't think you'll be able to get in there. You'll be able to see the giant, the giant man. There's a big, uh, there's a big man, the big, he's holding a, he's holding a barrel. What, what, what are people voting for? Fucking hell, people want to scrap, take me out. I thought you liked that. Never mind. We'll get your votes in, see what we can save. There he is, look, big, what would that, what would that man be called? What is, who is that? What is that man who holds a lantern? He's got like a nightcap thing on, like a sleepy cap. Smuggler, yeah, smuggler, of course he's a smuggler. Of course he's a fucking smuggler. I don't think we can go in Black Gang Chine though, unfortunately. No, it's not looking good. But it looks like you can choose these. Hey, hey, holy fuck. Sorry for anyone that wants to watch fucking British TV. That's the crooked house. Can we walk around? Oh, these are pictures that have been taken by people visiting. Is the pet shop there? Excellent, this is awesome. Isn't fucking Google Maps incredible? Sorry, <clears throat> don't know why that tickled me so much. I don't remember Fish World, what the fuck is this shit? This is new. I wanna see the pet shop. This is um, Frontierland. Oh, they've done this up. Very nice. Look at that, that bloke's one odd body. How's he done that? Um, yeah, this is the this is the surrounding area. I mean, it's a beautiful place, just filled with fucking nonsense, you know. <laughs> That's a great photo. I guess the view's nice. Well, it was just somebody taking a picture of a bench. There's the hedge maze. Don't look, spoil it, because that's cheating. If you ever go, you'll have memorized that by now. Yeah, this is awesome. I love this. I love looking at this stuff. 
I want to show you the bins. The bins talk to you. Where's Richard? Shit. <laughs> well, I could guess where it was. I, I, yeah, because I know, I know he was in Rye, so it would be. I know. Yeah, I do know where it is. I do know where it is. Braiding. Westridge. It'll be down here. The prisons aren't very interesting to, to look. Oh, I can't get there. It would have been over here, I guess, in the marina somewhere. I'm not sure where. Maybe it was one of those ones. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Imagine if we saw him. Satan, thank you very much. Hey, five months, baby. Thank you. Cheers for the five months. And Devil, that looks like the type of town where you pay for a hooker and your mum was has her over for tea the next day since they've been friends for years. Where's the sex shop? I've given you the sex shop. Uh, GY Goliath, thank you very much. 14 months. Love all the streams you guys do. They're really special. Thank you. Thank you, GY. Thank you for your continued generosity as well, mate. It's really nice of you. And Inspector Gadget, paying good money to see Rich's boat. Good <laughs> to see you back though. Yeah, well, I don't know. There's the skate park that was vandalized. Look at that ass. Look at that. Come on. <laughs> Imagine being immortalized on Google Maps with your fucking all of the ass out there. <laughs> it's a full moon. There's been a murder. Thank you very much, Sid. And Hort Tequila as well. Thank you very much for 15 months. Cheers for the resubs, guys. Okay, we're going to watch some stuff now. We're going to watch some stuff. Park a bike in that, right? This is the uh, the hovercraft terminal. No, it's not. I'm talking shit. This is the, uh, it's the ice rink. Hovercraft terminal is just along here. The only commercial hovercraft in Europe. If that ever comes up in a pub quiz, you are welcome. I love this. I I'm gonna die oh, this my night sorted this. Oh yeah, what what are we scrapping? Um Will ass get us banned? It was just a bit of ass cleavage. That's fine. There's the hover link. What what lost well what won or lost, whatever you want to call it. Take me out, I assume. Take me out. Cheers, Steven. Alright, we'll scrap that. We'll we'll see. We'll see. If I've got time I'll do it, but that's one of the longer shows. I don't want to be here all night tonight. Quick stop coffee shop. Sorry, I'm getting carried away here. I could do this for, for hours, seriously. Wait, we've got 880 people in now. This is doing better than fucking television. I'll just do this. This is the, the right level of geo-guesser for me because I don't need to know anything. I know all this stuff. There's a laundrette. There's a pipe there. That pipe always used to blow out. It used to be a Chinese takeaway and it used to blow out fucking air, and honestly, you'd walk under it and your hair would get greasy. This is the, oh, this is the hotel that we broke into. Isn't it an amazing building? So this is all a big spiral staircase. We, um, oh, it's fucked now. It was a very, like, posh hotel. Um, and it shut maybe 15, 20 years ago, perhaps. So yeah, we walked, mm, which way did we go? It must. I think it was down there, but it doesn't look like there's a gap. No, I'm sure it was down there. We walked down there, and the, the back window had been smashed in, and so we, uh, yeah, we we went in there one day. Obviously, we didn't cause any damage or anything. We were just looking around, but it was it was really fascinating. Uh, can we have a dedicated Isle of Wight stream sometime? Yeah, if you if that's something you actually want, of course. I mean, I'd, I'd be I'd, I'd love to. So oh, I'm going to get carried away. I keep saying that. I'm already getting... The Ride Theatre up here as well. This, is, this used to be my favourite pub. It's, it's shut now. Debs and Sean, the people that owned it, are amazing people. It's a bar. You go down those steps and there's a little bar down there and it was so fucking good. They're so nice as well. Oh, it doesn't look like I can go down that street. Ride Theatre was down there. Many a good night. Oh, right, anyway, let's, let's watch some stuff. What's that? Who were any of the... Oh, look, E17. We're playing on the Isle of Wight. Fats and small. Fucking black lace. No Oasis. Very good. Very good. Who's Nick Hayward? Jive Bunny. A bit of Jive Bunny as well. Zoo. Oh, Sandown Zoo. I'll quickly show you Sandown Zoo. You guys are fucking... You're distracting me. Uh, Shanklin. 
sand down. Uh, I think it's about there. No. Wait, it is Sandown Zoo, isn't it? That's Dinosaur Isle, that thing there. Um, Sandown. This is, I used to go to Sandown a lot when I was a kid. I saw, I saw Mr. Blocky, actually, on Sandown Pier. Just smoking a tab. Just enjoying himself. No, he went to see his, his stage show. His stage show. I made it sound a lot posher than it is. Went to see his stage show um, in Sandown. But it's a really... It's, it's, the, the town's falling apart now. It's really fucked. Where... I'm going to have to Google this, because I'm sure it's Sandown Zoo and not Shanklin Zoo. Sand it is. I never went when I was a kid. I guess it's that. Yeah, there you go. Um, how do I drop the pin? There we are. It's just a big big cats, mostly. Oh, it looks totally different now. They, it, oh, it looks really different. It's really boring now. They used to have, um, like, cat statues on the top of it. Oh, they've like torn half of it down. Right, let's fucking, let's watch some stuff. Wait, show the arcade, oh, I'll show you the arcade where I used to work. Um, t -t 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 -t. Oh, I've got very, very fond memories of this arcade. I really, I, it's my favorite job that I've ever had, seriously. No disrespect to what we're doing now, but it was really like, you don't have to worry about anything. You turned up for, turned up for work. Did your shit, uh, be around there, I guess, yeah. So this is the golf, I used to work in the golf hut here. Wait, can I push it? I can, I can put this back to 2009. I'd have fucking been there 2009. Holy shit, let's do that. Yeah, fuck. Okay, no, 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 it, was a, it would have been a year later when they took over. No, no, I could have been there then, because. That's more like it. 2011, I would have fucking been there. I'd have been, you know what? I might be in that fucking hut there. No, it's Sue. No, it's not, it's Steve. That's Steve. Steve's in the hut. Steve was, uh, he, he, oh, he still works there now. He was brilliant. Steve's in the hut. Great job. Great, it's Steve. <laughs> Great job. You fucking, you, if you got put out in the, in the golf, you were laughing because all you had to do was hand out putters and listen to music on, on, on your phone. What a lad indeed. Uh, I must have stayed before it got closed. It was really shit. Yeah, it would have been falling apart. It was falling apart for years. We're not scraping nothing, Adam. We're not oh, scrapping nothing. Sorry. Yeah, we are. We are, mate. Stick a quid in that bad boy. Keep the motor running. What? I don't understand that. I'm, I'm getting to these really late. Adam, I couldn't quite see the poster there for Fats and Small. Could you turn around, please, you cheeky monkey? Incidentally, that album was called Now Fats What I Call Small Music. That's a really, that's clever. I think the rest of the stream should be this, to be honest. This is amazing. You should definitely do a stream of this one day. I will, I will, I, I, I will get to some shows. But they're two pretty short ones, Stars in Their Eyes and Big Break. Um, but I will do this at some point. Uh, Mrs. Sidious and I have just had an offer accepted on a house. Uh, we couldn't have you shaming us with your home ownership. Oh, congratulations! Congratulations to you and Mrs. Sidious. Lovely little cafe. They bought that now. This was, a yeah, like a nice pitch and putt thing. This is all, a, like, I'll do the time machine thing. So um, this was it before. Beautiful green, lovely bit of upkeep, though. Is it really worth the hassle? Nah, let's make it into a big fucking pirate ship themed thing. So just demolished a lot and just stuck a load of fuck astroturf everywhere anyway sorry back to 2011 when i was actually working there this was this was the, one of the best summers of my life 2011 was fucking amazing if if i see myself here i'm going to be so happy i wonder when this was oh september i could have been there i could have been there you know i went back at the end of september generally so i might be i might be in the snack bar Ah, oh, the fucking thing's down. I could have been in there. This got pushed over. That hot dog. Some kid went up and fucking shoved it one day. That man's waving to some people. Oh, I, I, I'm very likely in that building when this was taken. Very frustrating. Oh, I wish I could get in there. Are there pictures inside? Oh, look, there is. Oh. <laughs> Great shot. Spectacular. Thanks for taking that. And this is... Oh, this is what it looks like now. Wait, when is it? Yeah, 2021. Oh, man, they fucking upgraded this. That looks amazing. Right. Right. Uh, one more quick look at 2011. I could have been there in 2009 as well, actually. Let's just have a quick scout. 
just in case. You never know. You never know. Yeah, there's different people outside the shop. Yeah, I would have been there. I would, look, look, yeah, because we had the we had the SpongeBob things in there. Yeah, the Pooh Bears and the. Yeah, yeah, I was definitely here. I was definitely here for this. Go on, be outside the cash casino. Top prize, five hundred pounds. This is where everyone used to go outside for a smoke up there. That little. That's the Dotto train. Which isn't a train, well, I get it, it's shaped like a train, but it's just a thing that goes up and down the street. Yeah, I, I, old man Adam taking a trip down memory lane, I know. Sorry if you do find this boring. This is like filling me with, I'm just so glad that Google have indexed all this stuff. Can't see who's in there. 2015, yeah, it all changed. I wasn't, I wasn't there in 2015, was I? No, but not long before, right? Maybe? Well, I started what culture in 2015? What am I on about? No, I definitely wasn't there. No Steve in there. And yeah, then there was the fun park. They built this fun park. So I'm going back. I'm just going to jump in between these. Yeah, Pirate Cove fun park. So it was shit when we first did it for the first year. But like, we were in charge of the go-karts. There's the bumper boats. There's a little, I believe, yeah, look, there's a shitty little roller coaster at the back there. I mean, it's a kid's roller coaster. I'm not having a go. And they, you know what? Decent, decent bosses. The kid, their kids were really nice. Mason and Dylan, I think they were called. Nice lads. Yeah, the fun park wasn't there, just a big car park. Anyway, right, right, right. I'm, I'm actually going to watch stuff now. I'm shutting this down. Uh, what are we going to watch? Uh, let's do, let's do Big Break. It's only a game, so Whoa. Whoa, we're not speeding this up. I want to enjoy the song. Cheers for, yeah, thank you for, for letting me do that. I enjoyed that. I've been out on the sunshine drinking beer, so I've not been paying much attention. Sorry, what show is this? This is Big Break now, but it was a tour of the Isle of Wight. Moon's Rise, it's my favourite day of the week. Hope you're doing well, Adam. Thank you very much. Cheers. Hope you're doing well too. Thank you for five months. It's only a no, don't, going, don't keep spamming tour. Don't keep spamming tour. I'll do it. I'll do it on its own stream. But I want to watch some British TV now, uh, and I can't just sit here. I, I will do it. I will do it. All right. Don't keep spamming it. You've had your fill. I'm gonna be snookering you tonight. Jim Davidson would fucking love the Isle of Wight because it's not very diverse. No, but it's probably... He, he, uh, Jim Davidson would love a British seaside holiday. Or he'd, he'd go to Spain or something and complain that they weren't speaking English. A bit louder. God, he's young here, isn't he? That haircut, a fucking mullet, eh? Gives me the giggles, that tune. Right, hello everyone, and welcome to the Big Break, the fun-filled game show where we play Sneaky Snooker for a bunch of nifty gifts. And speaking of snooker... Ever since this series started, I've been waiting to get me hand on a bat. <laughs> I am the Nigel Kennedy of the Why is that funny? Right then. Since old Virgo, we're just walking him around the car park trying to sober him up. <laughs> I'm gonna do the little trick shot. Oh, I hate that. I ain't got they do that. They ain't give me none of that stuff, that Rosy. Chalk? That's how he tells them, right? Okay then, Jim, what we're going to do now... Definitely doing well today. I'm getting my first dose of the vaccine tomorrow. Oh, excellent. Congratulations. Turn up a bit. Yeah, I'll turn up a touch. How's that for you? He's going to chalk it, isn't he? Brilliant. Classic comedy. Makes you proud to be British, doesn't it? The old six foot bundle of happiness, John Burgo. Give him a nice big clap, ladies and gentlemen. Scrap, take me out for this way. Well, do take me out next week, Patrick. Don't worry, I won't leave you hanging. <laughs> that weird sure. hoodie bloke's outside again. <laughs> Fuck off, Andrew. I don't know who it is. John, how are you, mate? Good. Listen, I'm <laughs> <laughs> 
went in to see the old producer. You know, the producer who lives out by the canteen in the tent with all the beer crates in and Exactly. <laughs> Wait, what was that? He said to me... What was that meant to mean? Is that like a... Was that like a... Insinuating that he, he, the, the producer's gay? I think that's what they were doing there, right? Is that... Oh, he's one of them, isn't he? Crates in... And exactly. Exactly. Yeah, it fucking is, isn't it? He said to me... Jim Lovey he said, what's up with the man? Yeah, fucking Davidson? definitely what. <laughs> they all talk like that. Happy all, Pride you know. Month from Jim Davidson, he obviously. Said, you know, he's got to cheer up a bit. He's frightening the children. You know, you've got to get him out of it. I mean, John, have you never sort of tried having a laugh, mate? Not a lot. I tried it once and it don't half hurt your face. <laughs> a few jokes, man. Do a few jokes like, uh... Where'd you find a tortoise with no legs? Where are the jokes? I don't understand what's fucking funny about any of this. Again, it's why we're watching it. It's not an endorsement of this fucking ginger prick. Oh, you laugh as soon as I get it. The joke is on the screen, I agree. I hope you're referring to him and not me. Plus, country smoggy out of hello. Thanks for that, mate. Gave me great memories of growing up in the Isle of Man. Very similar. Here's a tip for being a good tour guide. Oh, thank you. Cheer. I've never been to the Isle of Man. I'd love to go to the Isle of Man. Before we go any further, straight down. Where are you from, Dave? Uh, I come from Bungie in Norfolk. Dave and I. He really hesitated there. He didn't know. <laughs> not a fucking clue where he's from. Koi carp. Koi carp. Yeah. Yeah. Tell a bit of what a koi carp is. That's it. Do our funny It's a fish. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we uh, we keep koi carp, ladies and gentlemen, which are basically uh, Japanese carp that go quite big and they're beautiful red and white and they're. You know what a fucking koi well, carp is, Jim? You, Dave, what do you do for a living then? You look... uh, I deliver beer all around Norfolk and Suffolk. Nice. What I'll beer? Definitely come and see you when I'm in Great <laughs> Okay, mate. Well, you be doing the questions tonight, and your partner will be doing the snooker. Your partner is in here. Look, hello. <laughs> Three snooker balls in here. Each one. Come on, Jimmy White. Was Jimmy White ever on this? Spud Gun, I'm looking at. I'm looking at you. Was Jimmy White ever on this? Because that's literally like I, I, we, we've been through this before. I don't know John, snooker players. On the blue. One of the nice guys of snooker, former British Open champion, Tony Meal. No, not. Here yeah, he was. I fucking love. I wish I. I wish I'd taken some more pictures uh, on the Isle of Wight of, of the photo albums, because I think I mentioned before, but I used to fucking dress like um, like Virgo, like any of these snooker players. The nifty waistcoats. I remember watching them when I was three or four years old and thinking they, that that was the coolest fucking thing I've ever seen. That. Look at it. That's what I dressed <laughs> as. Tony, our blue team, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Okay, oh, fuck off, Jim. On the cheek, if you must, but fucking hell. You single? Oh, that is... That's fucking outrageous. It's not on. Okay, Randy, where are you from? Creepy cunt. They do tell me you've been sort of doing something that Jimmy Savile once did. What I bet she can still we taste the cigarettes today. You actually did Wait a second. Oh, no. Did I just hear what I fucking... <laughs> <laughs> Did it? Oh, it's happening. Here we go. I think I heard a name there. What was the... <laughs> they do tell me you've been sort of doing something that Jimmy Savile once did. <laughs> I hope not. Range? An assault course. You actually did the whole assault course. Really. <laughs> what made you do that for, for charity? Oh, you did it for charity? Yes. Oh, I wouldn't good. have done it otherwise. So you enjoyed it? Yeah, he, he, he did and a lot for charity as well. <laughs> yeah. Assault sounds about right. Okay, straight fucking hell. I can't get... Okay, then. Has there then ever been an episode where fucking oh, Savile hasn't come up? Yes. Any good? No. No. It's just... No. Getting better. Getting better. Yellow. Come on, Jimmy White. Yellow. Well, that's a great choice, Wendy. This guy used to be nicknamed the Melter. In fact, I grew a beard, so I wasn't mistaken for him. The pin-up boy at snooker, Tony Knowles. Tony! <laughs> This is a sign you can show us more of the other way. I'll do it later, Stephen. I'll do it another time. Oh, he's a good looking bloke, isn't he? How is this cunt? Jim Davidson, a comedian, is the least funny man on earth. Yeah, he's shite, isn't he, Arkham? Wendy, six to four. He is. But I like, I, you know what? I like the show. I like watching the trick shots and I like the questions. It's annoying that you've got to deal with Jim for it. Mr. Billison? Oh, 
Oh, that now that's a nice accent. Mr. Now, Davidson. I, Mr. Davidson. Yes. Yeah. You can call me anytime. <laughs> Any place, anywhere. Oh, what accent is that? Tell us where you're from, Jim. Bangor, County Down. Oh, no, lovely. Northern Ireland. Northern Ireland. You know, they're, they're getting... <laughs> 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 you fucking... I, I mentioned this last time, and Jim Davidson can't find out where someone's from without them doing a really poor um, impression of their accent. But listen to that. He just did, like, a London accent for it. No, oh, Northern Ireland. Northern Ireland. You know, Northern Ireland. They're, they're, they're getting... Northern Ireland. Yeah, they all sound like that, Jim. Of course they do. Oh. I'm from Northern Ireland, I'm from County Down. That's a beautiful That's place, a isn't accent. it? The fuck I is can, that? I can sort of do certain accents, but I can't sort of put them in places. I can do, like, a Welsh accent, but it sounds Pakistani. <laughs> <laughs> I can say, welcome to Wales. <laughs> and it's a toss of a coin who I'm trying to do. That is. Fucking hell. Can board. you talk Let's about Savile again? Fucking hell. Jim, if they did a list of ten of the greatest players ever, this man would be in that list. Three times world champion, John Spencer. I don't know John Spencer. Davidson and Savile on the same programme. Being the absolute cunt and dream, right? <laughs> cunt bingo card is nearly completed. Now, come on, All you need is a big pair right. of tits. How now, brown cow? How now, brown cow? <laughs> and we've been taking me out for the... Hey, you decided. Don't, I, I didn't choose. Democracy at play. Manchester, right? Well, just outside, exactly. Play a lot of snooker in... Look at his eyebrows. Big old eyebrows. Hurricane Higgins. Yep. Hi. Well, yeah. he was here the other day. He was fantastic. He's running around the table to everything. <laughs> He is awful, oh, isn't he? Him, Got rid of take me out with this, you two. Well, <laughs> you can blame yourselves. Don't, 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 I, I don't deserve the heat. I've said it before, democracy doesn't work. Right, we're getting on with the game part now. It's all interactive and fun. I can't believe what just went on there. Question time, three questions each, ten seconds for each correct answer, ten free seconds. Oh, this is a good People like Coldplay and voted for the Nazis. You can't trust people, Jez. That's a dried no, it's Mark, sorry. Fucked it. Wait, what? Sorry, I missed a question. JK Jigs, thank you very much. First Brexit and now this. I hate democracy. Only the racists win. You can't call the people that vote for Take Me Out racists. Ten free seconds. Oh, right, here we go. For you, David. I need to turn this up. Is not in fact a duck, but a dried what? Think of what our hobby fish. Okay, you're right, Dave. Let's I didn't know that. Bombay Ooh, duck is a dried. Sound the same. Answer these clues: a drama in instalments. Series. Breakfast food. Cereal. That's a cracker. Cereal. <laughs> <laughs> Did the Romans, the Phoenicians, or no one invent natural gas? No one. <laughs> Fucking hell. Does this guy do anything other than no accents? Yeah, he no. makes really racist Science YouTube videos. <laughs> He's very good at them, if that's, if that's your thing. <laughs> no one. Why, why are people saying Romans? No well, one invented reds, natural gas. Please the title. In this case, to pot as many reds as he can after he's made his break. Oh, yeah, he does dodgy pantos, doesn't he? What's it called? Cinderella. Oh. Nice. That's a fucking good start, isn't it? The clock hasn't even started. Oh. You've already won the speedboat and the clock's not even started. <laughs> is that him taking the piss out of Jim Bowen in there? Round of applause. The next time you strike the cue ball. He is nasty, a hey, casual. He is. <laughs> we will do, we'll do take me out next week, next I promise you. you I won't forget. Excellent. Oh, oh he fucks it. <laughs> I just said excellent start immediately. That Two. one's down, no problem. Three. Good shot, Tony. Doing all right. He's got the funny walk. He's developed the walk. <laughs> N64 the Life walk, Podcast. Yeah. Thank you, you know, so much for the resub. Yeah. Thank you. Still three. He's doing shy here. He just got lucky on that break. Oh, oh. I don't know. Four. Ten five. Five decent, isn't it? Respectable. Longer, yeah. uh, quick, 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 quick. The way they fucking run around the table. It's all right. It's all right. Not too shabby. Nick Pat TV, thank you so much for the resub. 11 months. I want to be snookering you tonight. Are we going to get the ads? Wendy. No. Okay. Here come your lot. 
Oh dear, I've often wondered this myself. <laughs> Sweetbreads <laughs> are made from what? Intestines. It, it is intestines. Yeah. Which two words that sound the same answer these clues? Correct and put pen to paper. Ink. Very good, Wendy. Wait, In a correct. standard pack of cards, does the ace of right. diamonds have one, four, or five diamonds on it? I'll give you that one again. Okay? Wait, ace In of diamonds? In a standard pack of cards, does the ace of diamonds have one, four, or five diamonds on it? Five. Is, is it? The correct what? Is it? <laughs> I didn't know that. So what's, got, what's, what's, what's on the five well, of diamonds? Maximum 40 seconds. Yep. I thought it was one. I just thought it was a big one. In the next round, you've got to score more one in each corner in the so centre. Please make your break. Ah, fuck. Yeah, OK, right, yeah. Right, you are. Start, next time you strike the cue ball. Normally these questions are a piece of piss. I've been struggling here. I'm one. too burned out after being Not amazing at Are You Smarter Than a Ten-Year-Old? And getting very... Ex what the fuck was that? And getting, oh, he's just bouncing it back a bit. I'm, I'm being, he's a professional snooker player and I'm here coaching him on how to play fucking snooker. What a twat. Still two. That's because you haven't cheated. No, you accused me of cheating earlier still. Apparently Three, pausing is cheating now, despite the fact that you get as long as you fucking Four. want on a question. 10 seconds to go, Tommy. He's doing all right, he's doing all right here. It's another fiver, isn't it? Five. Go on, quick, 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 One quick. One you're certain of being there. Quick, you two, one. <laughs> Where's the sense of urgency? What the fuck was that? I'm living. <laughs> He's a pro snooker player with a suit, sweet named after him, sorry, of the world famous Phoenix <laughs> Club. <laughs> Which word describes the food of the gods and is associated with rice puddings? Ambrosia. Jam. Ambrosia. Oh. <laughs> 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 fuck. <laughs> Fucking hell. Well done, Jim. Jam. Also, in the third row, you've got ten seconds as well there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. fuck With off, two chat. words that sound the same, answer these clues. Type of fruit and two of the same. Pear. Pear. Right, Jim. Fucking jam. You've got 30 seconds there. You have jam Pluto, on... Pluto. Pluto. Oh, at me, it sounds like Popeye. This is Pluto the planet was discovered. Was the most outer planet Neptune, Pluto or Venus? Pluto. Which is the it, it was the last. Planet. It was the last one, wasn't it? But it's Pluto is the correct answer, Jim. Right, okay. You have jam on a. You have jam on a thing, don't you? On a. On a. Well, why is putting four in without jam? Let's face it. It, it. it doesn't taste very nice without jam. Okay, John. Maximum time to beat five. Make it break. The old clock starts ticking. <laughs> I do like JV. Even if he did participate in quite a homophobic joke earlier. How dare you throw this wrestling? Disappointing. <laughs> he is shite. One. Very good. Come on, hurry up. Oh, maybe he's not shite. God, they're moving it in like a weird... Yeah, he's really fucked this. That's an excellent shot. That is a good shot, that. Oh, no, it's going in, it's going in. No, it's not. Three, great shot. He looks a bit like my granddad. Just seven seconds to go, though. Hurry up. Whoa. Ah, you shit it. No, John Spencer scores three. Oh. Really poor. But is that that's him gone then, right? Old bloke at the end, he's done. Robson, thank you for the bits. Well, let's have a look. <laughs> Stop <laughs> clipping the. Fuck's sake, the every fucking clip there, is Jim always me fucking up in some way. I didn't see anyone clipping me getting almost every question right on Are You Smarter Than a Ten-Year-Old? I didn't see anone clipping me being brilliant at places on the Isle of Wight. Not just because of that, but because you're such a great bloke. We're going to give you a chance to win a, a little consolation prize. So first of all, big thanks you to Clip whatever you want, Patrick. Okay, mate, just the good bit. Not the fucking... That's shite. Clip Joe Guest. I know, I know a lot of people clip Joe Guest. And we've got him in the John, fucking shit consolation there. Consolation prize here for you. John trick shot. set up a trick shot. I've never seen so many snooker balls on one table. <laughs> if you do this, it'll be a miracle, I think. No, all you've got to do is just do the same as John. You win a nice little consolation prize. Take it back to, uh, to Ireland. Come on, John, what have we got tonight? 
Okay, Jim, well, as you can see, this is quite a complicated shot. What we've got to try and do is to pop Stop interacting him, Jim. Now, the only man who would see that this red was on, eventually, would be Terry Griffiths. So what we're going to do, we're going to play it as Terry Griffiths would play. Okay. And he'd play it something like this. <laughs> Snooker comedy, I don't understand it. I assume that's how Terry Griffiths used to walk. Go, get on with it. Fuck it, I want to see this. Oh, fucking hell. I know this is the joke he's being... Oh, fuck, fucking skipping it. Oh, fuck off, Jim. John. He's very slow. I get the joke. Oh, I missed it now as well. Wait, what happened? <laughs> well, it's just a mess, isn't it? Right, sun's away, sun back in action. That fella in the yellow polo shirt looks like a painfully English Fraser Crane and hashtag jam that jam. Which guy? Him. Yeah, I guess he does a bit. <laughs> Okay, then. Don't forget, a warning, if you miss nah, this... No, I'm not sure, no. He's an impatient cunt. He won a keys, mate. Oh, yes. I missed that. <laughs> You're the one. OK, John. <laughs> Take Jim over there and let's get this down okay, the hill. Oh, he's about to win Terry? a tease. He's not going to win a tease, mate, is he? No. You don't want a Higgins one? <laughs> Higgins one. Yeah, we should have done a Higgins one. She was black off I'd love a tease, right. mate. What you got to do, but make it look difficult, Jim, yes. you know. Hit that red. <laughs> Did he part. just sass? But JD. make it look difficult, Jim, yes. you know. No, no. Hit that red hard. Go oh, on. Yeah. Holy fucking shit. Unbelievable. Show us the tease made, I wasn't looking. It's hardly a... That's actually a shite trick shot, that. Right? Show us the tease made. He's won that. Well, I want to see the fucking tease made. Where's the tease made? Jim can wake up to a nice cup of tea made in his tease made... Com Hideous, isn't it? All right, cracking on with it. It's the fill and mix show, ladies and gentlemen. I'll get you a plate on. Oh, look, I've ripped off the set. <laughs> okay, welcome to Pocket Money. A little bit of blue there. Of blue. Fuck's sake! Fucking hell! He's done them both. We've had them fucking both. <laughs> Another one for the bingo card. Fucking hell. Bingo. <laughs> pounds into points and then back into pounds again when I get it right. Come on then, four of you down the front. We're working out who's going to go first. Every fucking time. Hey, John, have you got a coin? Got a posh. I have, James. Voila. Oh. Cool. Tells. Wrong. <laughs> Thirteen. Sorry, I bought a hex on you. Oh, well, you're right. Do you want to go first or second? Uh, we'll go first and get it over and done with. Ooh, get it over and done with. Okay, Ooh. have a little sit down. Right, right. Okay. What we're going to do not fuck this up. seconds to pop all them We're not rewinding so you can see if it again, up, Adam. I'm going to ask you a question, David. If he misses a red one, give you a potluck. A yellow one, it's going to be a yellow. John, tell us the rules. Okay, Jim. Well, Tony, as you can see, we've got the six reds, six colours, the numbers on the amount of value in pounds, if you were to pot the blue, which is valued at £50 into the blue pocket, which is indicated on your screens by the blue ball, then that becomes £100. But remember, if you miss a shot, you must wait for Jim to say, OK, play. OK, Tony, we'll ask you to make... Are we following? I like this show, Big Dom. I think it's a jobber show. Ooh, I think that's a good one, Dave. Don't forget, mate. Don't hang around. Don't have the answer. Snoop good. Bin it, and we'll go off. John? OK, Tony, next time you strike the cue ball, the clock starts ticking. If Jim does a Gary Glitter impression, I'll spaff, imagine. Oh. Is a male swan called a drake or a cob? Cob. Cob. Correct, play. Ten pound. Nice, going straight for the black. And it's in. Seventy for the black. Very That's nice, pounds. come on. I fucking love this round. Beautiful. That's great stuff. Great shot. 
Oh, he's cleaning up here. He's fucking cleaning up. He's good, isn't he? This balding guy is amazing. He should play professionally. Fucking hell! Go on, clean up. Oh, he's putting them back on the table, isn't he? Two hundred and twenty pounds. <laughs> Very nice. Liquid <laughs> snooker. Here's a nice pink. It makes me so cross that they Two allow this on TV. Pounds. What the snooker? I was wondering. Or the racist. Two hundred and ninety pounds. You don't get the money, you don't tell me. Four balls on the table. Come on. Oh, this could be a double blue. A hundred pound if this goes in. Ah. No. No. Is he? No. He'll get that next time, though. Oh. Real name, Louise or Madonna? Louise. Louise. It's Madonna. Oh, no, no. It's no. Robert Gali, president of Zaire or Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. Correct play. <laughs> Tommy Hill scores 200. Not bad, though. 290. Not bad. Adam, play the magic Jimmy White shot again. Oh, I'll do the magic Jimmy White shot after the show. Because I do really like it. No, it wasn't Jimmy White. Was it Jimmy? It was Jimmy White, wasn't it? Of course it was. Her name's Madonna. She, you know, her name's Madonna, Madonna. Yeah, yeah, big shout out to Robert Mugabe as well, though. Don't fucking quit that. that I, I meant, they mentioned it on the show. I'm not giving a shout out to him at all. Bang out of order. Good score. Can we have the bingo song? Uh, no, not until I do a bingo stream. So sometime in 2024. That's not bad at all, that, mate. Don't forget, don't hang around. If you don't know the question, just say snooker. That's it. The Jim Pratt on TV. He's awful, isn't he, as lovely? Miss Red. Awful. OK. Is Karl Marx buried in Hampstead or Highgate? Highgate. Highgate. Great play. Ten pound. Great. First guy's won this without a doubt. 50, that's 60 pound. That's all right. Come on, let it stop. Miss Red. Is the femur or the tibula the longest bone in the body? Tibula. Femur. Correct play. Oh. Fucked it. Ten pound. Thank you, JK pound. Jiggs, for the gifted sub. Nicely, Congratulations to Martutifga. Can't pronounce yes, that. Martutifga. That was a good shot. That's it. Thank you. And Rosie Ann, thank you so much for the sub. Brand new subscriber. Pound. Cheers. That's ten of them. That's a good red. He could, oh, he could do Slug this. Who cares? Yeah, who cares? Excellent Get on stuff. with it, you know. Two twenty. He could, he could do this. A red and a black had put him in front. There's the red. Oh, he's fucking done it. He's done it. He's done so it. Oh, it's a bit close, isn't it? Nightmare. Miss Black. <laughs> okay. In which film does Liz Taylor ride at the Grand National? National Belt. Correct. Like. Never heard of that. Miss Red. Shite. <clears throat> in chess, does black or white move first? White. White. Correct. Like. Ten pound. You got just over ten seconds to go, Tommy. Go on. Blue will equal it. Pink will send you in front. Go on. Go for the pink. Quick. Go for the blue. That's two hundred and ninety pound. <laughs> oh, oh what are you gonna... Is that a tie? What? What happens now? Fight to the death. Ronnie O'Sullivan would clean up on this. I think we watched one with Ronnie, didn't we? And he did. He did amazing. Fingers on the buzzers. Okay. You ready? Is St. Michael the patron saint of grocers? No. You got an answer for me? No. Wendy, is St. Michael is the patron saint of grocers? Oh, no. So our winners tonight, David and Tony with two hundred. Jim, the sexy blonde didn't win. You meant to... There you go. All right, don't kiss her again. Still, you've got the wonderful trophy and the stick to take home, the old one of them backs there. And you've got £290. One, but oh, that was, wasn't that thrilling? £290. Have you enjoyed yourself, Wendy? Yes, very much. Well done. Thank you. Tony, thanks very much for coming Hands off her. Uh, and fuck for that. Ronnie O'Sullivan was also a cunt. What was Ronnie, what was the deal with Ronnie um, O'Sullivan? We've come to the serious bits now. All right, Tony, go on, knock the old balls about, mate. Just break them up before I explain the rules to you. 
In snooker, this is going to sound like a stupid question, but I don't watch the snooker. Do you have to hit it off the the back bumper wall, whatever it's called, when you're breaking, or can you go straight for it? Do you have to hit it off the back? Just look at what you could win. You don't have to. Okay. You can just go straight for it. Cushion, that's the one I was looking for. Pop the I met Ronnie, right unpleasant and a bully. Stu, tell us your Ronnie O'Sullivan bar. story. Clearing the green wins this compact tabletop dishwasher. One ball must hit the bumper, Down not the, the white. Okay. Have more than fish and chips with this prize of dinner and theatre tickets for a West you End show. fish and chips? Wait, with what the, the fuck? Gone, what they you? Can add the state, what the fuck is in that microwave? Is that bangers and mash? First of all, they're giving away fish and fucking, what? Compact tabletop dishwasher. Down the brown, and they'll have more than fish and chips with this prize of dinner oh, and theatre dinner, tickets yeah, for a West End show. show. With the blue ball gone, they can add to their kitchen sophistication oh, with chicken. this combination oven. Ugh. A fantastic selection of TVs all around the house can be one for sinking the pink. <laughs> with loads Potting of TVs, the black for excellent. appearance wins our mystery star prize. Big break. Yeah. Fish and chips and cream. <laughs> Fuck off. Ready, David? Don't forget, don't hang around. Just Get real. Snooker. What are you on about? Now. According to the saying, what killed the cat? Oh. Curiosity. Snooker. Snooker. Right, okay. It's curiosity. Which sport is Eddie the Eagle associated? with? Show uh, jumping. I said show jumping film, there. What type of animal is Dumbo? Elephant. Elephant. Correct. Who did, who give God the Ten Commandments to? Moses. Uh, um, Moses. Correct. Which number multiplied by itself gives the number 49? Seven. Seven. Correct. Stop the clock. <laughs> Big break. Fucking show, show jam. The Prince of Cheese, thank you very much for the resub also. Big break is shit, isn't it? I like Big Break. He should be able to do all right here. In five seconds. All the rest, save your time. Certain Dave's keeping his fingers crossed. <laughs> Aren't we all? Yeah, the show, of course the hosts are cunt. Shot. But that's half of the shows we watch, the sh that's nice, that's a good start. Half of the shows we watch are front by fuckers. Oh, nice shot. Not actually test it, then you've got a good start as well. Congratulations to Jerry Hoopser. Okay, Tony, we're on the course. Three seconds. <laughs> Oh, come on, hurry up. Okay, what's he on there? Fish and chips. Dishwasher. Dishwasher. Good shot. Nice shot. Oh, go on, mate. He's not going to do it. Didn't we watch one last time where they, they fucking did it? Get in. Go on, go on, go on. It's fucking going in that. Come on! Ah, he's fucked it. Shy rubbish. What an idiot. Let's find out what the mystery star prize was. An evening meal with Gary Glitter. Go on, what was it? Motor home. It, it, it's so Boat. near and yet so far. Still, you don't forget you've got your trophy and your bat to take home. You've got a case of champagne, you've got a little micro combi oven, and you've got 290 pounds. Take back the bungie. Tony, thank you very much for coming Not along. bad. Do we find out what the mystery finds us? Sorry, I missed JV's joke there. Right, we've got one more show. We're going to do stars on their eyes. You probably hate that as well. Couldn't give a shite. Uh, so this is 1999. These have been fairly recently uploaded. It turns out that Stars on Their Eyes has like a tremendous uh, following still, has like a real big community um, who are like just super hot on the show. Uh, so we'll have a bit of a sing song to finish things off. And we'll play the guessing game as well. I like the guessing game on these. We're going to guess who they're going to be. This is the Stars on Their Eyes I remember. I remember this intro. You know you make me butter. Buh, 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 buh. Barry White. Something quite sinister about this, I quite like it. Uh, Kylie. Oh, it's cool. You gotta give me my Gotta give me my friend. 
Please Not Gary Glitter, Elton John, lovely. Appearing on Stars in Their Eyes tonight, from Stourbridge, Ian Hall. Oh, I thought they were going to reveal them Sean all. Sean Williams from Cambridge. What? Why is there from a child on there? Was that a child? Sean Ian a child. Hall. Was that a child? Sean Williams from Cambridge. There's a kid, isn't he? From Sevenoaks, Kate Hurst. Rachel White from Fife. And Maxine Clark from Enfield in Middlesex. Now, please welcome your host, Boo. Matthew Kelly. Kelly. Oh, yeah. Congratulations, Canary Stew. I tell you what, fucking, I didn't know he had a twist here. Got this here. Um, uh, Barry Moore's been sharing clips of him doing his, his presenting on Twitter. I don't think I mentioned it a few times. He was incredible at what he did. At some time in our lives, we he just had such a rapport with the guest. He was How very, very talented guy. Airbrush as a microphone. How many of us have used a tennis racket as an air guitar? How many of us have raided our mum's wardrobe and danced around like Madonna? <laughs> the broke up there with his hand off. <laughs> I think you want the Jerry Springer show, sir? That looks like a Is wig. Oh, Is that a wig? Yes, make it look easy. But Is believe me, a wig? if you're going to appear on this show, it takes guts, especially if you're doing meatloaf. You won't find. <laughs> Fat joke a there. musical lineup like ours anywhere else on Definitely TV. Definitely a week. I mean, where else could you find Cliff Richard and Liam Gallagher? Yeah, it looks too like stage, Sheen, doesn't except it? Except in Cliff's worst nightmares. <laughs> and in Liam's, probably. There's talent in every street, and as far as we're concerned, all roads lead here Does to look a bit up and greet star guest. He did have hair. It wasn't that. My name though. is Ian Hall. I'm 37 years <laughs> old. And I live in Wordsley near Stourbridge. My name is Ian. Oh, he said it, sorry. Uh, who we than got? Who we got then? Get your gases. Your, your gases. Down there, there are no hills Look at that negotiate. dog on a boat. That's amazing. I'm a huge fan of the person. Uh, Brian, Brian May's a good child. Christa Burr. Why me Christa Burr? I know, because this year would have been Ian Moore's year, in fact. Right? 99? Or was that 2000? That might have been 2000, actually. He had two in a row. Better not be fucking Gary Glitter. I haven't watched these. I'm really glad they did now. Ozzy is a I'm good shout. Mick Hucknall. Don't Everything think he'll be Barry White. Please welcome Ian Weird Hall. Al. Brian May's not bad shout, but hey, not much of a singer, right? <laughs> did Brian May do solo stuff? Obviously better known for guitar playing. For many, many years now, and you started at where, what age? I reckon oh, one of the Wurzels. Right, He's got a very Wurzely oh, face, that man. 26 years I've been a fan of this bloke. That's right. Why? Because 26 years. Status quo is not a bad show. Such great excitement, and the band he played in there had such a great wardrobe, and that's kept you there. Great for wardrobe, years. absolutely. Mark Bowler, it was just the hippest T Rex. Yeah. Okay. Have you always been able to sing like this person? Well, no, actually, uh, about six years ago, I lost my voice and uh, never really. Kiss, recovered. not a bad show. So you've been able to sing like him. Iggy Pop, Gene, oh, yeah, Gene Simmons. Oh, right. <laughs> Tell us something about this man. You, you belong to a band, and this band came from Wolverhampton, which oh, yeah. is and they were you know, called the Glitter Band. Oh, Wolverhampton. And this band went oh, on it's to fucking be the it's Slade. of the glam rock age. It's, Tell us it's who the Noddy Holder. Here. Tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be Noddy Holder. Noddy He's Holder. He's holy. I like him. This should be quite a fun one as well. My closest brush of fame was walking down Salty Hall Street in Glasgow and saying hello to Matthew Kelly when he was performing at King Theatre. That was a good ten years ago. He had a smashing head of hair and it was definitely au natural. He's a hell of a... Ma <laughs> he's quite good. He's a, he's a really good actor. He was in that ITV thing, wasn't he? He was, he was very good in it. Baby, baby, baby! Oh. I mean, his voice has been fucked with quite a lot here, hasn't it? I think. I think they've got the auto tune on. Great song, this. But it makes me money. I mean, he's not great. I mean, it's fun, isn't it? It's a fun song. I don't think he's that good. He's not got the strength for it. Yeah, wow. I mean, I can't do it. I loved it when they brought the dancers on. They spent a lot of money on this show. I, I, I love the set as well. It's iconic. Go, grab the boys. We get wow, wow, wow. Yeah, I don't think he's got the strength in his voice for it.
but he's still alive, Lottie Holder. The last thing I remember him doing was advertising uh, Nobby's Nuts. He is. Oh, good. Is he still, he's still performing as well? Oh, God. Yeah, Oasis did do a good cover more. Jack brought that the other day. Just shorten your name without your permission. I think it's just something I've always done. Your name's Morgan, I'm all. Yeah, Nobby's, Nobby's Nuts. Nobby's Nuts. Not Nobby's Nuts. I don't know why I'm a Nobby. The, the, the brand is Nobby's Nuts. Great, delicious nuts. Very, very tasty. Ooh, ooh, not sure about that. He's not getting through, I don't think. Fucking bull. Oh, my duck to up. He likes my mustard shirt. Isn't it beautiful? Ow! They're nobbies, not nobbies. That's what I was saying. Oh, is that the catchphrase? Did he do it? Ah, no, he did that as a fucking catchphrase. Yeah, they referenced it, didn't it? Sorry. Is Adam gonna dance? Yeah, I will do a bit of marbles at the end, but I don't think I gave you any marbles last time. Right, not bad, not amazing either. My name is Sean Williams, I'm 13, and I live in Cambridge. 30? He I've is not church, fucking so 30. Really what? Young. I'm 30. My name is Sean Williams, I'm 13, and 13. I live in Cambridge. I've been in the church since I was really Why are they young, letting really kids since I was on this? The He's going to be I amazing. I sing in the church choir. I'm an altar. Oh, um, I also lead sometimes. It really hurts. I burn um, myself I'm also there. in the praise and worship team. It feels really good. Uh, to be right, go on then. Get your. Ja yeah, yeah, I don't think. I don't think Michael Jackson's a bad shout. You know. You feel like you can get into it. And it's just oh, I better not be fucking R. Kelly. No, R. Kelly wouldn't have been popular. Church. Oh, no, 99. Space Jam was 97. Yeah, R. Kelly was around, wasn't he? Oh, please don't be fucking R. Kelly. MJ, yeah, everybody's saying. Sam Cooke. I love Sam Cooke. I hope he's Sam Cooke. Go on, let's get on with it. Before? Yeah. Your mum's the leader of the choir? Yeah. What? My dad and I'll talk to Sorry, I've just skipped him. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. I don't remember kids yeah. being on this ever. Well, he's won it, hasn't he? There's no way they're going to vote against the little boy. I happened to hear my mum and my dad and I was Dr. Dre? Little and Richard? I was the age of five, so I thought, and there was this girl that I really liked at school, we happened to be happening. And so oh. I, thought, I decided that it was going to be our anniversary today. Right. So I went into my mum's room and there her engagement ring was sitting on the side. So I took the engagement ring, stuffed it in my pocket, and then what I did, I went to school, and as she came over, I go, it's our anniversary today. She goes, what? And I go, it's our anniversary, and I go, here's this. She goes, oh, it's really nice. <laughs> <laughs> I bet she did as well. Tell me a little bit about the person. He's you know, good, isn't he? I mean, it's a well, shite Matthew, story. I mean, Matthew he Kelly, he's a really good host. At the age of 11. Yeah. No, it's MJ. No, he's younger. MJ was younger. 1972, and he was 14 when he did it, and... To my knowledge, Could be MJ. She is the most biggest pop star in the world today. Oh, it's MJ then. Please tell us who you're going to be tonight, Sean. Tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be Michael Jackson. There you go. Michael Jackson from Hellstar. So come on, here. See, a lot. I really like Jackson Five as well. I want you back as one of my all-time favourite songs. <laughs> well, they got the outfit right. Oh, he's good, isn't he? Wait, is this a Jackson number? Is that a nonsense? <laughs> he's a 13-year-old. Or 30, couldn't work it out. This wasn't Jackson, wasn't this fucking, um... Withers, Bill Withers. Ooh, a bit weird. <laughs> I didn't know Michael Jackson covered this. He's pretty decent. Oh, what are you saying? 
Yeah, he's good, isn't he? Oh, he's good. Not bad. Just a bit. My local pub is the Rifleman in Seven Oaks. Yeah. I like to come back and see my friends when I've been at university for all the year. It's nice to go and meet new people, but it's nice to Her come back to my on the streets in Glasgow. I'm, I'm going Cher. Here. She looks like Cher. Wearing a costume, which is absolutely beautiful, very elegant. The costume looks beautiful, well elegant. Particular song. It's very haunting. Kylie. And very very magical song. Celine, Britney, Madge. True feeling and true emotion. When I first got the call to say I was actually going to get through to Stars in Their Eyes, I was. Oh, I love a pint right now. I couldn't believe that my parents were standing. This song is what happens when you put a duck in the microwave. It's, it's Bill with us. <laughs> it just didn't sink in. It just didn't click at all. <laughs> Evanescence. Celine. So Please welcome Kate Hurst. Elegant. Celine makes sense for elegant as well. So, what's the best thing about being a student, Kate? Oh, uh, a beer. Yeah. <laughs> hey. What subject do you like? English and marketing. What do you do with that, do you think? Um, <laughs> All right, Matthew. Sort of what do you do with that? This one's useless. Mickey Mouse degree. You didn't start singing until very late in life, did you? No, 16. 16, so only four years. Hmm. What did your family think when you started singing? My mum thought it was great. She loved it. She's really supportive. Um, my, boyfriend. Boyfriend. <laughs> my boyfriend. My boyfriend. Said to She's not me, single, um, Matthew. Sorry. Something along the lines of when you're rich, buy me a car. <laughs> and my father thinks Greasy. I sound like a primer stove going off the boil. Right. So a supportive family. <laughs> <laughs> Connie, you're going to be. Tell me a little bit about the person that you're going to be. Okay. Tonight, the person I'm going to be is French Canadian. Yes. Yeah, it is as well. It's Celine. Switzerland uh, in the Eurovision Song Contest. Don't know about that. Mm -hmm. And the song I'm doing is the theme from the biggest film in cinema history. And I'm sure Titanic. Yeah, there you go. It's My Heart, heart Will Go tonight. On. I do love this song. Going to be Celine Dion. Celine Dion! A few people fucking called that as well. Well done if you did. Stephen, I sadly have to leave work now. The stream has been fun, Adam. Hope you catch it one again soon. Hope you have a great night. Big love to you, my friend. See you again soon. Thank you, Stephen. You enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself. Have a good night at work, mate. I should look shite all like Celine Dion. Yeah, take care. Kai as well. Thank you, Kai. Cheers for the resub. And Oscar, are you single? Do you mingle? Do you tingle when you sing, sing a Celine jingle? Right, this is a fucking tough song, right? Need a bit longer, not sure. She's fine, she's not great. It's all about the high notes here. I don't think we can... She's, it doesn't sound very strong though. I got on a wretched uh, school disco to this song. I think I've told this, this story before. It was last week. No, it was <laughs> at my first fucking, at my first slow dance to this song with my first, uh, with my first girl. No, I didn't just go, I've got on a wretched. <laughs> no. <laughs> I had to fucking peg it out of there. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I paused there. She's very good. <laughs> Got a wretched. Uh, there's a cleaner one if you want to clip it. Fuck off. I don't care. I'm done with this shit. Um, yeah. My first, my first slow dance. Um, I was only like, oh god, what year? Year seven, year eight. What's that? Twelve, thirteen. Touched my girlfriend at this time's sides. I remember looking at her dancing just back and forth like that. <laughs> it was the, hey, hormones. We were, every, every fucking boy got poorly timed bob -ons, didn't they? I had, to, I had to get out of there, ran past the touch shop into the toilet, wait for it to go down. <laughs> she's fine she's fine thanks for the clip there sam cheers she's nah. 
I didn't give her the attention she deserved here. Celine, not the... Didn't have a toilet wank. Yeah, Jack got Jack gets them on the bus here. We can talk about this stuff. People get all fucking shy and weird about it and weird messages saying, oh, I didn't want to hear that. I don't care. We're all adults, right? Except for that fucking one who's just passed his GCSEs is in the chat at the moment. Hello, mate. And you're probably still going through it now. It gets better. Don't worry. And don't buy clear seal. It's shit. It just doesn't work. Kenny Sim says, I've got an erection. <laughs> That's Celine Dioff. Oh, very good, Declan. I hope your father is holding his head in shame now. Primus yeah, he still, is. Because she was so awful. No, she was fine. She was fine. <laughs> Next. When we've had a tackle and feel the noise. Not us. Getting on stars in the eyes. Uh, Buddy Normal Holly. I'm a shy person, but when I'm singing, I have more confidence. She sounds shy. I've been watching the stars in her eyes. God, who, I have no idea who she could be. And it used to be when I'd go to my grand's every Saturday night, and she'd babysit me and we'd sit up and watch stars in her eyes. So now when my grand sees me on the show, she's going to be really happy. If I was to dedicate this song to somebody, it would have to be my mum, because she's been there for me. Any idea? Dead, Dolly Parton? Dave Grohl? First edition, so. The Proclaimers! <laughs> if she's the fucking Proclaimers, I'll be so happy. Go on. I don't want to hear a shite story, I can't deal with it. She's got a lot of charisma, this woman. This is amazing because she's still famous now, isn't yeah. she? Lulu? A little bit about We're saying Lulu. Annie Lennox, not a bad show. Well, she was born in London, mm -hmm. and her real name's Leslie Hornby. Sounds like Lulu. She was one of the world's first supermodels. Yeah, there you in go. in 1971, she won the Golden Globe for Best Actress in the musical The Boyfriend. Tell us is that Lulu or is that, uh, is that Twiggy? I'm going to be Twiggy. Twiggy! From the time of Minister... She has such an intriguing look, mesmerising. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Does that look like, I don't even know who Twiggy is, you know. It's a name like her, I remember like hearing of her on, on the telly. What does Twiggy sing? She should be Twiggy all the time. She's got more confidence. I think she looks nicer. Why doesn't she just be Twiggy? She's good. I think she's good. She is a totally different person here. She's come out of her shell. I like it. Is this good? Is this good? I haven't got a throb on. Hey, casual. Just be Twiggy. <laughs> she's all right, isn't she? Is this show, is it shit, Merry Midnight? Wow, Adam, you're such a terrible person. Don't be yourself. Well, I'm just, no. She was beautiful either way. With the glasses, without the glasses. It doesn't matter. You're all Twiggy to me. The swimming cap is a nice touch. <laughs> Except she should always be Twiggy. That's right, Adam. <laughs> yeah, whatever. I, I don't really know this song and I don't care. Uh, glasses aren't a good look for anyone. That's not nice. There are a lot of speckies watching. Mother was responsible for getting watching right now. She's been about the most nervous one in this building. <laughs> oh, bless her. Living. God, she looks like her mum, doesn't she? And not only that, she looks beautiful. You see, that means you're beautiful Dun as well. You don't know. See, <laughs> Matthew knows the score. Ladies and gentlemen, Rachel White as Twiggy! She was shy. I oh, think she was shy. Come on, can we get some fucking... Yeah, look, hey, fuck you on the Specky. Come on, if you're, if you're a Specky, you speak up now in the chat. Say Specky in the chat. I love you. My name is Maxine Clark. Maxine. I'm 30-something years old. I come from Enfield in London. I work Whitney. for an agency that sends me... Speckies. All the speckies in the chat. Fucking the much End, love to you. Yeah, I thought she said Maxine Carr as well there, Adam. Fucking hell. I 
was very Cuts out for Speckies. Who we got? Who we got for this woman? Tina Turner. BB King. Urethra. Urethra Frank. Was my best friend. And M people. Screamed down my ear. Diana Ross. Joking. Salt from salt and pepper. Feels like she's waited an eternity to show us her obsession. Wait, were they called salt and pepper? Do they have individual names? Is that a thing? <laughs> you all look so cool on those perfume counters. You're not cool. All the time. I just seen that James no, no, Jenkins is watching right now. Hello, James. Big shout out to James in the chat, please. Me and some friends dressed up a teddy, scruffed him up a bit to look like a bit. Oh, I hope it's Tracy Chapman. I love fast it was, car. Yes, and then we had a Japanese couple that walked past, and the poor man was so embarrassed, the bottom of his ears went bright red. <laughs> <laughs> Now, your best friend's a reader. She has never heard you sing, has she? No, she hasn't. In all the ten years that I've known her, she's never heard me sing. This is amazing. That's weird when you're coming on a singing show. So, Natasha Beddingfield. Did James say hello? Guilty, doesn't it? it does, yep. The words are very Come on, James. Pipe up. And the actual meaning of the song means a lot to me. Um, there he is. Hello, also, also up the speckies. To your right, James. Important, important at one stage, wasn't it? It was, yep. The actual song James, very handsome man with a great pair of glasses. Right. Wait, sorry, I missed that. What's, what's she on about? The person I'm going to be tonight was voted the most influential person in Kansas City. Right. And who was she discovered Don't know. by? She was discovered by the group Tears for Fears. Tell us who you're going to be tonight. Tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be Alita Adams. Alita Who's Adams? Who's Alita Adams? Nobody said that. Normally you guys get it. A few people. Who's Alita Adams? Not a fucking clue. The little boy's going to win, isn't he? MJ. Little MJ. See? Glow up. Alita No, literally nobody knows. Who? 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 She wrote Mankind's theme. What? You can reach me. Oh! And <laughs> fucking, what is it, right said Frank do this on Phoenix Nights. And the poor girl's crying, They're adding all the stupid sound effects. She's great, she's good. Sings for one second, instant applause. Hey, the lights are on. She's good. Whoa. <laughs> Wait, what? Did she, did she sing like that? Sail about. He's king. Rock to roll. Take a sled and slide down. I assume what what was her name? Sang like that. Why she didn't? You can jump on a steep coast. Cross the border in a pleasure hole. She got a great voice. Yeah, it's like fucking Vic Reeves, isn't it? <laughs> it's good, she's good. I don't know the original, so I don't know if it mankind's theme sounds a bit different. Ridley <laughs> Bull. Let's get Face Jacker on again. Come on, let's have some fun. Fucking loved it last time. Girl. Sorry, fucking hell, concentrate. She's an amazing singer. I'm not, get, I'm not getting it on set. Can reach me. <laughs> right, who's gonna win? Get your votes in. Quick, quick, quick. We've just got the I'm so back. Tonight's finalist. 
Will it be? Pezzy, thank you very much Johnny for the Hall. sub. Brand new subscriber. Michael Jackson. <laughs> Celine Dion. Wiggy. Or Alita Adam. Come on, Adams. And the winner is... Celine Dion! Oh, it's Celine! I didn't think she was that good. Right, we're going to do a quick... We're going to do a quick game of marbles, then I'm fucking off. We're going to do one... One game. One game. I don't want to hear her sing again. I don't want to hear her sing. All right, let me get this set up. Broken reach me. Uh, <laughs> oh, I've enjoyed tonight's stream. I do like doing these. I know I say it every time. You can reach me by hell. Right, if you want to play, you know how to do it. Don't do it yet, because it's, it's, oh, it's updating Steam now. Oh, we might not be playing marbles. I cannot be fucked. I'll sit here and wait for... Oh, no, we're on. We're on. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Mr. Adam Pachisi. I've never used that username in my life. Password right? I'm in. I'm in. <clears throat> it's not gone full screen. Oh, the fucking thing. It didn't. It broke last time. It just fucked the PC up. See, it's, it's gone all weird, this. I need to look into what's going on with this because you're not going to get a full screen here. That's what you're getting. Adam releases. I don't know what that is. It's not sexual. Oh, it was a news video about some WWE releases. Adam, Adam, I'll oh, delete that because that looks weird. Okay, let's do it. We got one race. That's your lot. Adam releases his spunk all over his chest. Uh, right, we're going to do one. One. Oh, no. Just got to do a single one. Arcade. No. What have I done wrong here? Come on. Race. Random. So, get your fucking things in. What? Standard. Oh, fuck this. What am I doing? There you go. Exclamation mark play in the chat. I'm suitably pished now. This was a treat. Thanks for skipping uh, all me missing take me out. Nobody skipped it, but I'm doing it next week, so. Soz. Exclamation mark play. We're doing one game and then I'm fucking off. It's a quickie. I can't be bothered doing any additional shite tonight you've got 10 seconds to get in before i start exclamation mark play exclamation mark play come on 10 9 8 7 6 5 i've got an erection 3 2 oh, i'll get i'll get in as well i'll get in as well exclamation mark play cultolics in there that's what we like to see quick 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 we're starting we're starting if you're not in you're not in Good luck, MF Puncher, Oliver B. Webb, Ben, Blam Blam Slam. And in the lead is Morgan012345. Evil Justinian is in with a in with a chance. Sam Captain, Jer Online. We got the Bird Beasts. Beats, Beats. Uh, Final J, Lord Braton. That is a beautiful picture, mate. Uh, Seth Trollins. Posh Bertie. Lovely cat. Lou Markham. We got. An <laughs> Is he drawing a dog? <laughs> we got Lou Morgan. We got New L20 with Keith Lard. Uh, we got French 30. Get those boosts in. I don't think they work on this. Berrickson with a beautiful, uh, a magnificent beard. Multaran. Michelle is annoyed. As lovely he was in the lead for a for a, a hot second there. We six one nine Steinaldo or Steinaldo Tom Marsh. He can fuck off. Uh, <laughs> back to Keith uh, Ashton Kerno or Kernow Chup Safari. Great picture of show. Uh, JP Bolton in the lead right now with a lovely bald head. Uh, got Matiti Matiti J outside. Oh, outside the Tokyo Dome. Oh, get you. Oh, I've been on holiday. Pathetic. Uh, Multiran back in the lead. Rob picking up. Consumable Pete there at number six. Uh, Trying to mark. It's Dignity. Jer Online. Jam Blue Jam. We got Black Country Smoggy Adam. What a sultry look there from Black Country Smoggy Adam. Uh, Tigu. We haven't had anyone die on this, you know. What's going up with the fucking thing? Oh, all slowing down. JP Bolton in with a good chance. Go on, bald man. Oh, no, you've been... Seth Trollins, stream regular, is about to win it. Oh, oh, oh! He 
he's fucking done it. He's done it. Well done, Seth. By a mile as well. Some people have fallen off. <coughs> Excuse me. You can read. Right, have we got our top ten yet? Yes, we have. At number ten, it's Melon with a small child. At number nine, it's Action with a, a, some kind of sexy e-girl. She's hot. Well, my jizz on that tongue. At number eight, Phil. Well done. Shite picture, though, Phil. Seven, Unclear with a sexy hentai lady. Uh, number six, it's Oscar X-Ray with a, a, a very nice. Well done. Uh, number five, Malta Ran. And number four, JP Bolton with his lovely bald head. At number three, Ashton Kerr. Now at number two, it's Kieran. But at number one, it's Seth Trollins, a stream bloody regular. It's been an absolute hoot tonight, guys. Right, I'm going back over here to say goodbye. I'm off. Job done. It's over. See you later. See you later. Can we rain Drama King Matt? He's doing a charity stream today. If he's doing a charity stream, and I really like um, the former Aiden English, so we will absolutely do that. Drama King Matt, Matt raid coming up. And he followed me on Twitter the other day, and I'm not quite sure why. Um, maybe he wants something. Maybe he wants a job. Uh, he can come and work for us. Get rid of Fraser. Uh, Ray Channel, Drama King Matt. Let's bloody do it. He's got 38 watching, so do go and join um, Drama King Matt. Thank you very much. I love you all. Um, and yeah, that's that's it from me. I will, uh, well, I guess I'll see you next Tuesday. Cunts in the chat. Don't do it to bloody Aiden English, though. Be nice, all right? Because he's a very, very nice man. All the best. Bye. Am I live? Don't know.